below 2,500 again. How dare you? Oh, how embarrassing. I got some orange. It's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Hold on. Below 2,500 again. Help me out, bro. What are you guys doing? I also had tacos. They were sick. I got bad tacos. Oh, by the way, you guys are here before the claimers. Here come the claim. <laughs> oh, no. Everybody's here for the free sub. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Congratulations. If you were among the first 50 in chat, you get that free sub. Unfortunately, if not, you're going to have to settle for a Twitch Prime or maybe just $4.99 a month. Either is fine, but thanks for stopping by. Congratulations, everybody, and I can't wait with all of your subs. We'll be able to hit above 2,500 again. <laughs> I'm a who again. I'm a who again. I'm under 2,500. I'm a nobody. Didn't know I put my water. It worked. You're welcome, Yoplin. 41 months of free subs. Amazing. It's, it's, it's incredible more people are taking advantage of this deal. Truly outrageous. It didn't work. Keep spamming claim. If you notice, some people are getting a code. And you're going to get that code and be able to redeem it later. So just hold on and get that code. Thank you, Wumbo Prodigy. See, there we go. Wumbo Prodigy got a free sub. There you go. Yard merch? Yeah, they sent me some. Very appreciative to those fellas. Big fan, big fan. I never have time to listen to it. I'll pop in. I feel like I feel like the issue with Yard is like I feel like I don't have the time to listen to a two hour podcast. So what I'll do is I'll pop in. And I will look at the at the chapters, and I'll pick the one that I want to listen to, and I'll listen to it. But I don't listen to the whole thing, you know what I mean? I think once I start going back to the gym, though, I will. Because I, uh, I'm fat. So. I feel like I don't look bad from, like, the chest up. My bust is good, but, like, everything goes to shit down here. You know, this is Limgrave, this is Kaylee. I gotta I gotta get back in the gym and start watching my uh watching my calories, so I just like saying everything is Kaylee. Skinny fat? No, not skinny fat. I'm not skinny fat. I'm just fat fat. But not too bad. I'm a little doughy. My problem is that like I'm at I'm like a I'm at 175, but I look best at like 160, 155. Stand up! 3k subs, I'll stand up. How about that? How deep your pockets go, chum? You got some gifties? Thank you, Fire Shot. Thank you, Duke of Cheese. Thank you, Guau. Thank you, Aquario. Thank you, Dog with the Butler. <laughs> That's fun. I came to claim my sub while already subbed. Oh, yeah, just uh, forward that to customer service. Sorry about that. Tell Twitch what happened, and they'll, they'll refund you. Thank you, Jabba. It's me, the haters. I thought I told you not to show your face around here. Yeah, and I don't listen to you. The haters motivate me. You're what got me to press the go live button. Thank you, Two Cent Kate, as well. All right. I'm going to keep it $100 with all of you. Tonight is something of a grab bag. And by grab bag, I don't mean grab bag games. I mean, I have like 50 little things we're going to talk about. <laughs> There's a lot that has happened. Um, but it's not, like, huge or anything. None of this is news. So, a lot of little tiny things. Um, but first off, I want, to, uh, I want to be sad about something really quick. One moment. It's time for a quick sedge. You guys ready? Yeah, quick sad. Just a quick one. We don't spend too much time on it, okay? We're not going to spend too much time on this. Because, you know, not you don't want to focus on the L's, 
Okay? It's all about the W's. Losses improve. But... I'm so sad. I loved this video. Oh, died in the womb. Died on the vine. I loved this video so much. It's sad because this video I thought was so fucking fun and funny. The video is amazing, I think. 14 minutes. But it's impossible to SEO. You gotta really lie. And everybody is like, oh, Cody, why do you clickbait? Why don't you say what's in the video? This is why, you dumb motherfucker. Click on everything I make and I won't have to do it. <laughs> Excellent movie, I thought. This is the shit I would love to do more of. Uh, but Smash Custom Moves just hit 100k, so I think you know where my bread is buttered, so. It's a good movie. I want to do more shit like that, dude. That's what calls to me. Weird internet bullshit. I love it. I am the internet explorer. Speaking of the internet, we're going from an L to a W. One second. Tony, do you play Hurdle on the days you're not streaming? I play it every day, brother. Yesterday was another fucking group I've never heard of. I, I, I was like, wait, what? What is this? All right. From an L to a W. Fellas, this is the final R place canvas. And uh, as you can see, a lot of artists and a lot of communities are represented. But I know you can see it. I know you can see what I'm talking about. We, Yeah, I know you see it. It's clear as day. You can see it. It's right there. Everybody sees it. Right? It's right over here. You, you, I know you can see it. I know it's so clear to you, everybody. But I'm just going to zoom in in case people are like on mobile. If they have a small screen or something. I think everybody can see where I am, right? Everybody can see. It's right here. Yeah. Yeah. So expect a big viewership jump soon. A lot of people are going to find this and be like, Hmm, I keep hearing about this Coney fella. What is he doing on this, on this R place board? Here it comes. This is our way to the top. Free, simple advertising. Amazing. Had to be above Geek, though. I'm kind of mad about that. Who's this? <laughs> I don't know who that is. I guess they, uh, they claimed this upper area, although kind of. They apparently got attacked there. Yeah, I, I was shocked when it was Homestuck and Geek below us. But, you know, you guys, I, I, hey, a lot of you guys told me that there were some attackers, some onslaughters happening while this was, uh, going on, but, uh, a lot of people held the ground, and I'm very appreciative, so thank you. And I did see this Reddit thread. <laughs> I don't know which community made this, but I'll protect it with my life. By the way, the name is right next to it. Is this person illiterate? Do we want them on our team? Liu Kang 69. It literally says it's slightly off screen, but. Does that dude have an STD? Yellow doesn't look so good. It kind of does look like a dick. Toad is a two tone Tony. Whatever's going on here. That does kind of... We got a comedian. <laughs> hey, uh, that look, kind of looks like a penis. Wow. Great observation. <laughs> I thought so too, but I didn't want to say anything. It. How do you make it look more like a guitar? You have four squares here. There's no way to make it a string. All right. We've got a ton of little things to talk about tonight. God, there's so much. There's so much just little stuff that piles on throughout the week. There really is. But first off, uh, I want to test something. This is not going on tonight. This is just a test that I would like you guys to be a part of, okay? Some technology that we're working on. 
One second. Okay. Chat. Go. Six pause fishes. Five, five, six, eight, nine, ten. A lot of ooze. What makes it go down, I wonder? Because it goes up and down. Tony, what is this? Don't... You'll see. Maybe it only records the last 100 messages. That's my guess. Yeah. I kind of like that anyway. That's all you need. Okay. So this will record last 100 messages. Are you analyzing? You'll see. You'll see. In fact, you'll see tomorrow. Seems to be working well. Show back up tomorrow. You'll see what I'm doing with this. It's not TikTokulon, I promise. But, it is made by the same friend who made TikTokulon. That's our good friend down here. I don't know if you can see it. That's Zevo. Zevo is our dev guy that helps us out with, uh, there it is, down there at the bottom left. Boom. Zevo is our dev guy that helps us out with little projects like this. So, big ups to Zevo. Another 10 out of 10 vid incoming. Maybe, maybe, we'll have to smash post to make up for it, I think. Unfortunately. But hey, I'm going to Genesis, so... Thank you, Gilliam the Third. Uh, thank you, L. Nehemias. I think I said that right. KX Star, Jose, Icy, Dandy, Dare, CBM. Thank you guys for the subs. Okay. First off, I think y'all know what time it is. It's the same thing we do at the beginning of every stream. Ad time? Oh, yeah, I should wait. <laughs> I forgot. I like to wait a little bit until the first ads pop. So we're going to chill out for a little bit. And we're going to wait uh, just a second. Just a second. Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I want you guys to know tonight's docket has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven things on it. And I don't think we're going to do them all, and I, it, it, but that's what I have on it. But we are, we're doing mojo. We're doing mojo tonight, 100%. We are absolutely mojoing. We've been putting it off too long, and I think we got a good night of it. Thank you, Blackwater. Coney, did you see the Vince stunner? Yeah, 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 hold on. <laughs> I saw more than that. Did you see his reaction before? Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. There is something very good that happened at WrestleMania. It was so funny. Hold on, I'm trying to load it. My internet has been so slow lately. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> This is actually kind of sad. I was there in the cr everybody in the crowd was losing it. <laughs> I wish I was there. I've always wanted to go to one mania. Just one in my life. All right, so uh <laughs> All right, so this is not the the stunner, but in case you guys didn't know, Steve Austin was at Mania. They brought Stone Cold Steve Austin back to WrestleMania so he could wrestle one of the new guys named Kevin Owens. Uh, he actually had a full match, which was crazy. I thought it was just going to be a squash, but it was a real thing. And uh, <laughs> Vince, who is one of the greatest performers in professional wrestling history, guy, guy is a carny to the core, uh, did this classic mistake. But in the entire history of WWE, <laughs> I, got, I, I don't know if you caught that. Uh... So, Steve Austin is supposed to come out here and interrupt them, and he's supposed to be scared. Instead, they played the music of the guy he's with, and he was like, oh, Steve Austin. So, he got a little, <laughs> jumped the gun a little bit on that. Uh, <laughs> his, uh, his bewilderment is hilarious around things, so now he gets to do that. Yeah, he's pretty good. 
Yeah, somebody uh, commented on the Reddit post. They were like, okay, so now we know that Vince McMahon can smell Steve Austin when he's in the building. And I was like, that's pretty funny. That's good. He looks so old. Dude, it's sad. So I don't watch wrestling anymore, but I watched uh, the first night of Mania with my friend. And he had a promo thing with uh, one of the wrestlers. And he's just... His voice is... Just, he's not the same. I think he's 76. By the way, Forget built like this anyway. at 76 is kind of crazy. Right? Holy shit. He... I, I, I hear he is like a fanatic. Like, he, he works out no matter what every day. Psychotically driven. Um... He also, so this was the thing that I found funny. But this was the thing that was going around on, <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> so, uh, again, it's, it's kind of sad when you watch it. Hold on. It's kind of sad, but it's also very funny. Um, the man who has taken more Stone Cold Stunners than anyone in history tried to, uh, tried to sell a stunner, and this happened. That's so sad. That's so sad, dude. That's tough. Sorry, I ate tacos right before going live. Mm. Time comes for us all. Not for me. I'll never get old. Not once in my fucking life. That's why I asked my family to put a bullet in my head the day I turned 30. That that line lives in my head. That South Park line that I've talked about over and over and over. Stuck in my fucking head. <laughs> I'll never forget it. It's crazy. There are so many things to talk about tonight. Uh, okay, so this fell through the cracks. I tweeted about this, but I still can't fucking believe it. Raise your hand in chat if you remember Mean Greens. Not many of you should raise your hand, but some of you might. Who remembers Mean Greens? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mean Greens, Poggers, Mean Greens, ooh. Yeah. So Mean Greens, in case you don't know, is a pretty cool game on Steam. It's this. Uh, it's an army men game. So you play as little army men and there's like a bathtub level. There's like a sandbox level. It's really cool. Uh, we played it a long time ago, like back in 2017 or something. Um, I think it's free to play now. Oh, it's only a dollar. Ooh, it's a dollar. Maybe we bring it back. There's a kitchen level. It was really fun. It's dumb arcade shooting, whatever. It was fun. Now, what if I were to tell you that Mean Greens has a new recruit? Mean Greens has a guest star. Who would you think it would be? That's right. It's exactly who you think it is. Kurt Angle. Professional wrestler, Kurt Angle. This is real. This wasn't a joke. You could play as him for 84 cents. This is real. I did not see this video though. Oh my so god. So I've got my what essay written and I've been working on it for about What is this? So now I'm going to show you how I use Grammarly to edit. What is this? Okay, so this is a essay. terrible user experience. Hey, this is Kurt. There he is. Bengal, Olympic gold medalist and WWE Hall of Famer. And I am now a playable character in the Mean Greens Plastic Warfare. Available on all platforms. And keep an eye out for future announcements about our new wrestling game called The Wrestling Code. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Time really does come for us all. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so tough. This is a people stare. <laughs> this is a big people stare. <laughs> Holy shit. Why is he here? Virtual basement? I guess they, they, they're making a wrestling game and Kurt Angle is in it. I don't know. I thought they just paid him like a really fat cameo. You know what I mean? Like if you give somebody like 
$500 on Cameo, they'll just be in your game. I don't even think you get anything. I think you get this. This is... <laughs> you see how it vaguely looks like him? Oh, yeah. By the way, there's a new emote. Check out Payout. <laughs> I saw it in the Discord. It's pretty good. Mm. There's Coney Payout and Normal Payout. There you go. Pretty good. I'm a fan. I like it. Every bounty, baby. By the way, uh, we've I've I, we've signed some contracts. Uh, there will be some stuff coming in the next few weeks. So, just so you guys know, uh, be prepared to engage. <laughs> also, some other stuff in May. So, you'll see. Vague Coney announcement again. I mean, I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. Some of it's NDA'd. Route 2? <laughs> too soon. Way too soon. Come on. I miss Route. I really do. I got all the cans over here. These are collector's items now. Nuts. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Also, 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 making the rounds on the Twitter. Fellows. Peep this one. There's a new Hypnospace game. In case you guys didn't know, Hypnospace Outlaw was a really fucking cool game that I really loved. And uh, he's making another one. But it's not called that. It's called Dream Settler. I actually only knew of this because of uh, Ella Fox's retweet. So well done. And I'll tell you why in a second. It's actually a funny story. But check this out. This, this song goes kind of crazy, by the way. I love this. I'm so excited, dude. So what's weird to me is like, I guess this is a direct sequel, but it doesn't say anything about Hypnospace. In fact, it's called something different. So part of me is like, is this... Because the story of Hypnospace Outlaw is basically they came up with an internet for your brain that happens while you sleep. And somebody fucked it up and a bunch of people died. So my thought is that maybe this is like an alternate, or, or like somebody took that technology and rebranded it. And like now it's safe. But this is like a spiritual sequel, but also it ties into it. I'm kind of curious, but the uh, different OS, but same dev. Yeah, I, so I'm not quite sure. Um... But I'm very excited. It says alternate history sleep time service in 2003. Uh, Hypnospace Outlaw rules. There was another company mentioned in the first game. Okay. Hypnospace Outlaw is amazing. Um, I'm a huge fan of this developer, Jay Tholen. Uh, I was following him for a while. We were going... <laughs> we have followed and unfollowed each other like five times a piece. And it's not personal. I like the guy a lot. It's just he gives like a lot of like his life and daily updates. And, like, he doesn't make games very often, and so I've unfollowed him because it's like, eh, I don't really, you know, I don't I don't want to see into his personal life. I just want to see this stuff. And he's unfollowed me, maybe because I unfollowed him. He's a really cool guy, though, and I'm a big fan of his. Um, I will play anything made by Jay Tholen, uh, and then he followed me again today, which made me feel good. I, I always wonder if he remembers, like, that, like, because I, I, the yeah! first time he followed me... This is, is the greatest part about Hypnospace. Is it Granny Cream's Ice Butter Ice Cream? Hot Butter Ice Cream? Granny Cream's Hot Butter Ice Cream. That's gotta be it. Okay, yeah. Granny Cream's Hot Butter Ice Cream. We take the hot butter. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Mix it with the ice cream. Freeze it up. Cool, you can see it on your screen. Put it in your Yeah, this is from the game. Like a soup or a dip. We call it heat and sip. There's a lot of good stuff for it. Um, but anyway, I will play anything made by Jay Tholen, uh, Daniel Mullins, or Lucas Pope. 
Those three devs can do nothing wrong at all. Those guys rule. They're the best. Uh, Daniel Pope makes, or Lucas Pope made Oprah Den and Papers, Please. Daniel Mullins made Pony Island, The Hex, and Inscription. These are my three favorite indie devs. They're great. You were about to explain why they followed you the first time. Oh, I was talking to him about, about Dropsy. He also made a game called Dropsy about an alien clown. Um, Dropsy. Dropsy is a game... God, dude, I, I feel like it's because I have hardware acceleration off. Dropsy is a game about an alien clown. And I did not mean to uh, spoil it, but... Basically, the whole game is about giving people hugs. And if you look at this... I don't want to spoil it. There's there. This game is really cool. You guys aren't going to play this game, right? Can I spoil it? No? It's not about the ending. Spoil it? Don't spoil... You guys aren't going to play this game. Okay, uh, 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 mute for spoilers. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Okay? Three, two, one, go. Okay. Uh, so the point of this game is that he looks like he's gonna kill people, right? He looks like a John Wayne Gacy. It, this game is de deliberately set up to make it look like, oh my god, Dropsy is probably very sweet, but he's like a Frankenstein who, like, hugs kids and, like, cracks their ribs and kills animals or something. Uh, he doesn't. You never hurt anybody in the game, and I think that's really neat. There's more to it than that, but that's the core concept, which is really cool. Okay, that's it. Done. Done. Is that, done. Unmute. Un How do I do unmute? Unmute. Tell them clear. Okay. The game rules. I highly recommend it. I love this game. There's one very poignant moment in a church that really sticks with me when I, when I think about it. It's a great game. I wouldn't call that a spoiler, really. It is, because if you're playing it expecting one thing and get the other. Anyway, it's a great game, and I was singing its praises on Twitter, and him and I had a little back and forth about how good it was. That's it. So. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Jay Tholen. Big fan of his games. Also, Hypnospace has a really interesting story, too. Uh, which is very cool. So, highly recommend it. Did this guy just come in here to type his name? Yuzion, you did it! Congrats. Never played it, but it seemed really cool. It's a great game, it's just not... Wait, is that a global emote? Why the fuck would Twitch allow that? What the fuck? That's so toxic! Why would Twitch allow that? <laughs> I, feel like, I, mean, I feel like somebody hacked into the Twitch database to add that shit. I don't believe that's real. Because of you specifically? Somebody's got it out for me, yeah. That's so shitty. Okay, well don't don't use that in, I gotta ban that. I gotta mute it. That's really bad. Okay. <laughs> anyway, play Hypnospace. I like Hypnospace a lot. And play Dropsy. Guy makes good games. Thank you, Pizza170789. Wonder what those numbers mean for the Prime. Thank you, Fire Yam. See you at Genesis, brother. Huh? Thank you, Vince MC. Vince Mick, I think. Swaggles, book person for the gift. Blackwater GTR. Thank you guys for the subs. Okay. All right. Time to get into the meat of the stream. You guys know what time it is, and so do I. We do it every stream. What song is this? Oh my god, thank you, Bino Dino. Bino Dino. Beanie, di that one doesn't work. Thank you, Bino Dino 95 for the five gifted. Big thanks. Thank you, thank you. It's not 1979, is it? No. No, because it has that, like, it has that, like, thank you, Glaceon. I don't know. Okay. Doesn't help. Oh, it's Spice Girls. 
Uh, wanna wanna be. Yeah. Okay, you can tell by the laugh. You can tell by the laugh. Okay. Don't tell me Is this the first meme song in recorded history? This is a meme song. Word? Do you think bird is the word is older than this? I mean the meme of it. That was on Family Guy. I'm trying to think of a what was what was what was what was a meme song like the song was memed? Rick Roll? This was before Rickroll. I don't mean when it became a meme. I mean this song was a meme in 90s culture. Stupid. Benny Hill, that doesn't count. Well, peanut butter jelly time. This is before peanut butter. You guys are so young. Oh my god. Thank you, Bino Dino. Been watching a while, but I usually stay quiet in the streams. Love your stuff. Thank you so much for the 200 bits. I'm the same way. I'm a big lurker. Lurkers, I feel you. I'm one of you. It's a lot of meme songs, dude. Friday by Rebecca Black. Shut up! This was a 90s meme song. You're... Uh, uh, caramel dancing? No. This is so stupid. The Macarena is ancient. I think this might be... Actually, no. Macarena probably came first, right? Which came first? Macarena came out in... 1992, I think, right? Why can't I find it? <laughs> Where's the... 1993. Aha. Okay. And Spice Girls Wannabe. I think this is like 1997? 96. I was going to say 96, by the way. So, but I just forgot. Crazy. What about Mambo number 5? 99, I think. I was at the tender age of 11. Hmm. Uh, Alright, let's do framed. Yesterday's framed was... uh Oh, God, what was it? The witch? Yeah, the witch. All right, no cheating. No cheaters. It's a horror movie, right? This is looking mad horror-y. It's not Bone Tomahawk, is it? It's not even there. I'll do Winter's Bone. I don't even know what that... Old Cars. This is Old Cars White House. It's not Get Out, right? No. Uh. I'm. I. I, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> but I don't. It's not Gatsby, obviously. Yeah, it's. I, I think I know where this is going. But I don't want to say it. It's. It's not like. It's not Grapes of... It's too new to be Grapes of Wrath. What the fuck? It's some... It's a Dust Bowl film, right? Whatever, Grapes of Wrath. It, this is... Dapper Dan. Pomade. That seems important. Who wore that? I watched this movie. It's not Brothers Bloom. It was the Brothers... Son. Oh! Yeah, it's this. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna guess that, but I didn't want you to make fun of me. Chad, I didn't want you to make fun of me. I was gonna guess that. As soon as I saw bluegrass, as soon as I saw this, I saw bluegrass and I was like, oh, music. Great movie, by the way. I will never watch it. At a principle. I don't do that. <clears throat> One second. <laughs> so somebody DM'd me this. <laughs> I love this. I had to show you. I simply had to. <laughs> okay. Somebody DM'd me this on Twitter. This is after uh, the Metacritic stream with only one here. By the way, that video comes out, I think, tomorrow? 
I think we have the only one here video coming out tomorrow. <laughs> uh, he was like, check this out. I found that, but for Rotten Tomatoes. And uh, Daniel20s gives reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. But it's very clear what he's into. <laughs> Sharknado, amazing dude, cool action. Amazing dude, cool action. Awesome, well-made, and excellent. Great movie, super excellent. And he does this a lot. But, like, he doesn't like every movie. I will say that. I was going down. I didn't want to spoil it too much, but he hates some movies. See if you can find out which ones. Thank you, DKGM. Meh, kind of weird and awful on The Nun. Black Beauty was a kind of disappointing movie. Raya and the Last Dragon was not good enough. Tom and Jerry was pretty disappointing, but he is sorry. <laughs> I hate Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Haha, <laughs> so funny, man. I love it. What? That movie is ridiculous. It sounds like he's talking to you in conversation. I love him. Because it sounds like a guy that, like, you got, like, Shake Shack with. And you're sitting there at the table. And you're like, did you see Resistance? What? That movie is ridiculous. Did you get a chance to see Claws? I like it a lot. Well done. It's just like I'm eating with this guy. I'd rather say it's all right. I love the great action and horrible violence. I love this. Ha ha ha, so ridiculous. These hero children. How silly. Not like Slender Man, the man who gets mad when you collect papers. That's, that's normal. That's okay. Soul. Bad news for me, brother. What does that mean? What does that mean? What did he mean? What could he possibly mean? I'm confused. The Christmas Chronicles 2. <laughs> this movie is a terrific film. Half star. I was not sure of it to be good anyway. Half star. He loves Hellboy. Haha, ha, I don't care no more. If you make another one, I'll be laughing harder. Playmobil, the movie. Cinderella was a disappointment. <laughs> Five stars for Iron Mask because Arnold Schwarzenegger was in it. I love this guy so much. Roger Ebert's spirit has possessed this man. Wow, a Star Wars. I wasn't expecting critics to review this. I'm like, Michael gets stupid. Michael is super right to be back. I'm so glad he's back. He's earned it. It's so good that he's back. Good for him. Where in the fuck is Michael Myers? <laughs> What did they do with Michael Myers? Oh my god. So Michael Myers is a good villain. I love this. Oh, he hates... He doesn't know how he feels about Freddy Krueger. He doesn't... He goes back and forth on that guy. If you might not be a Mafia fan, Bug, I'm not, but I love this. Tim Curry is great. True. Great movie, also mad. <laughs> Scooby-Doo is a pain in the asshole. <laughs> this guy got caught. This guy definitely tried to run a haunted emporium of sorts. Maybe like a museum for vases or something that g got haunted because he wanted inheritance or something. He hates Scooby-Doo. He got meddling kids. Okay. You can't say Batman is bad. Oh my god, he loves Batman. It was not ever be good like the first one. Goosebumps 2. Is this a kid? This is a child, right? I can't tell. Wow, this is rude but funny. If they make another Teen Titans Go movie, I will be so mad. Uh. 
Samuel Jackion. Close. A couple letters off. I don't know why he had to space it out like that. Oh, he hates he hates Jurassic Park, but he watched them all. Wait, what? This is not my kind of movie. Still not that good, has bad action. This film is terrible. Chris Pratt? Awesome. As soon as you add Chris Pratt, five stars. Chris Pratt is worth four and a half stars. And that's why he's Mario. He's so cool. He really is. <laughs> but, but, he hates Chris Hemsworth. See? He's a Pratt kind of guy. Star-Lord, not Thor. What's the evidence proving this is not an AI? <laughs> I don't know, dude. He doesn't, he doesn't pass the Turing test, right? You asked him three times if he likes Jurassic Park, and he said no, and then the fourth time he said yes? I don't know. This was a very clever movie. I actually watched Last Action Hero like a month ago. I liked it. I love this shit. I don't know why. There are so many. He loves... Dude, this guy is a consumer. He watches all the Star Wars, all the superhero movies. Like, in order, apparently. Aliens. Predators. He... Like, this is crazy to me. <laughs> the Hobbit is his least favorite movie. So freaking horrible and everything is terrible. It's so horrible. I would love a Twitter just, like, alerting me when he posts. He loves Megamind. That's another glowing review for that movie. He hates Dora. Maybe because he's an adult. He hates Artemis Fowl. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I was gonna say, did he stop giving out things? He loves Batman. Loves Batman. Every time. Loves Ninja Turtles. It's crazy to me that he jumps from, like, series to series, right? These aren't sorted alphabetically. So he's watching all of a franchise at once. He's on a not funny kick now. <laughs> I love this guy so much. I really do. The dancing in Mamma Mia is horrible. He loves Christmas movies. He's got a soft spot for Christmas. Toy Story 4, unfortunately, will always be trash. He hates Peter Rabbit. The rabbits are lame. <laughs> oh, how they made Sonic is bad. Oh, man. I can't guess with the guy. This seems like a fun game. Just trying to decide if he liked the movie or not. I can't tell. By the way, Sausage Party, worst movie I've, I've ever seen. Among them. I, I, dude, I fucking hated it. I literally turned it off after 15 minutes. It's one joke. Yeah, it's just corny. Like, it's so... Like, it's so over the top in how direct it is. Like, there's nothing of value. I just, I hated it so much. I, I hated it, dude. I sincerely hate it. And it got good reviews. This movie did great. I was furious. Oh, he hates Scooby-Doo. This guy hates Scooby-Doo. All right. <laughs> I think we've seen enough of him. He loves Owen Wilson. The scariness is bad. Okay, so he's not quite as, uh... Verbo he hates Paddington? I thought people love Paddington. Isn't Paddington like the highest rated movie ever? I've never seen it, but I hear it's good. Crazy. Okay. I think I've had enough of this guy. <laughs> I, I love that profile. My favorite is Scooby-Doo is pain in my ass. What did Scooby do to him? What's his problem with Scooby-Doo? Right. 
I got a surprise for you guys. It's actually huge. I gotta get it ready. This is huge news. Okay? Hold on. Is it this? My computer is so slow lately. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Now hold on. All right. <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe this. You guys will not believe this. Hold on. I'm doing this for your sake. I have actually, if you can believe it, I have gotten my hands on a very rare video game. A video game you might not have even known existed. <laughs> Check this out. Welcome to Gex Jr. <laughs> Hold on. Did I turn it off? Why is it all muted? Why is everything muted? What happened here? Wait, can you not hear it? You guys can't hear it, can you? Why is it so quiet? What? What? That's so weird. Oh, I know what it is. I see. Okay, there we go. We fixed it. <laughs> Welcome to Gex Jr. Now, apparently... Like a Teletubby nightmare. Apparently, Gex Jr. was going to be another game in the Gex franchise. But it got canceled for some reason. Gecko stepping for Blue's Clues. But I, being the influencer that I am, got exclusive access to the game. And check this out. The buttons are jump... Tail spin. I'm your father, Luke. Tongue. And this. Pretty good. Can you say tail time? There's a fart button. Yep. So I fit apparently Gex Jr. was supposed to be like a kid version of Gex. And yes, we just that is my final answer. As you could tell, very uh, timely with his references. Regis uh, is dead now, so, you know, doesn't quite age as well as you might think. This looks like a Teletubby nightmare. Teletubbies were also very big during this time. Um, so, yeah, I think they found out that uh, kids didn't connect to Gex as much as adults did. So they Gecko were going to make this game. For blues clues. <laughs> I love that sound so much. I love this sound. <laughs> I'm your father, Luke. <laughs> I love that voice. Well, who's the TV guy? I don't know. Why are you asking me? You By the way, this is the same fart sound effect we use in 2020. Some things are timeless. Wait, how do I get that that soda? And yes, we just that is my final answer. And the goal is to get all the sodas. I've never wanted to kill a fictional this character like a more. He's nightmare. a child. I don't get why Gex Jr. wears clothes, but normal Gex doesn't. That's a little weird. Gecko <laughs> stepping for blues. Clues. This is overstimulating. That's Gex, baby. Wait, did I not get all the soda? What? I'm your father, Luke. You only get to the next level by getting all the soda. Where's the soda? Gex Jr. dresses a lot like Coney. Shut up. Can you say tail time? Wait, what? Wait, where's the soda? And yes, Regis, that is my final answer. That's the whole game. 
<laughs> I just wanted to show you that. That's all. <laughs> you collect all the soda, and then he does a little dance. Sorry, my PS1 is crashing. I thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> we want more Gex? No. I actually loved Gex. I, I had Gex for the N64, and the first level is Titanic. And I fucking loved that. No, the first level is Looney Tunes, and then it's Titanic. I loved Gex. Well, yeah, what if he said my name? <laughs> I'd be a little I'd be a little scared, I think, if he did that. Speedrun Gex? No. Absolutely not. I would never do such a thing. Gex sounds miserable to speedrun because he never stops talking. That's like eating cake at Jerry Garcia's house. I still don't know who Jerry Garcia is. I think he's like a grateful dead guy, right? I think he's like one of those. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll save that for later. I found a new Twitter. I'm doing this for the benefit of those who don't have it. <laughs> Fellas, welcome to Chaotic Nightclub Photos. <laughs> this joined in March of this year and has 735,000 followers. Now, there aren't many pictures. That one's not great. Nah, that's not their best, unfortunately. <laughs> I haven't seen this one. I definitely thought that was Chris Rock. <laughs> when, it, Like, on first glance, like, as we were going down, she does not look into it. She's not into this. His stroke game is weak. Yep. <laughs> Definitely thought he was naked. Am I allowed to do this? There's no nudity, right? Am I going to get in trouble? I was... Uh, dude, I was... Okay, Twitter support. If you get reported this clip, I want to direct your attention down here. Please analyze and be aware that there is no genitalia. He is wearing skin-colored undies, okay? Okay. <laughs> What's this? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Wait, the uh, is he is he over 21 or 18? I don't know. He looks mighty young. This looks like a Minecraft streamer. Clone Knight. <laughs> Dude, how did they capture this picture so quickly? Cuz it's about to pour into his drink. This is what kills me. Because they had to snap this immediately. What a handsome young man. <laughs> okay, I hadn't seen this one. <laughs> that dog is terrified. This one isn't funny. That poor dog has its tail between its legs. Oh, <laughs> That's so sad. That does look photoshopped. It doesn't look like she's supposed to be there. Yeah, this is the one. I think he's liquefied, right? I love how most of these are British clubs. Are you sure? This can't be a real face someone can make in real life. I don't... I don't... I, this has to be edited. This is liquidized. <laughs> Wait, what's this? I haven't seen this one. I'm... So, I, I feel... Okay, so he's out. Oh, he's out. Oh, he was out, out the whole night. He got weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Okay. He was just sleepy. He was tired. Little guy had a big day. Come on, he's still partying. He he had bailed on his friends ten times, and he was like, you know what? I can't do it again. I can't do that again. Jesus, what the fuck? This is, this is a felony. Are you allowed to have this on the site? This is evidence. What would cause you to do this? It's like a scene from Jersey Shore. Like, that's Wow, you know? <laughs> she just hates this bitch. I can't believe the photographer didn't tell her. Yeah, lock that one up tight. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, 
This is photoshopped. This isn't real. That's a tiny arm. Yeah, that's Photoshop. This is stupid. <laughs> this one, I think this one's real, though. I believe in this one. I think this one happened. Oh, he's an amputee? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Good call, good call. That's probably what it is. This one's real, though. I believe in this one. <laughs> people do this shit. It's disgusting. What do you mean people do... Wait, really? Like, regularly? A tale as old as time. Is it? Does this really happen? At the bar? I don't go to clubs. I don't go outside. I don't meet people. I don't make friends. This is new to me. Holy shit. You know what they should install? They should install a little hole for you to pee in right here. Like a urinal. Maybe, like, if you made it a hole. Like, this came up to him. And you made it a hole. And you could put it in the hole. And you could pee. Coney, that's a glory hole. It doesn't, he's peeing. I don't think there's anything glorious about it. I think that would solve a lot of issues. Or maybe like a trough. Like a pig trough. Yeah. Dude, you guys ever go to a baseball game and they have a trough and you feel like a pig? <laughs> I do that. The Orioles baseball field has a trough and I look at it and I'm like, Ugh. Is it not trough? Is that not what the word is? P trough. Is it not trough? P trough slide. I don't want that last part. That's how you say it though. Trough. Is it not that? Trough. 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 I have an accent. I have an accent. It's trough. <laughs> it's a trough. I like saying it that way. I had no idea. I was right, though. I always feel weird when I see a trough because I feel like a fucking animal. I feel like I should have more dignity than that, you know? Why do I have to stand around with all these peasants? I always wish I got box seats or something. I hate that one. <laughs> this one's just famous. That poor girl. That poor woman. Memed forever. The guy also... This is so fucked up because the guy will never see... Like, he's not memed here, right? The guy is the joke here. He's the guy you're laughing at. But you don't know who he is. That woman, if you saw her on the street, you might be like... And you wouldn't stop her. Unless you're really weird. But... Be kind of confused, right? <laughs> oh, this is just a funny... Uh, well... Mal did this to me today because I drank a Red Bull and she hated it. She hated the taste. Uh, and I did that to her today because she was wearing chapstick. So this happens a lot, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Kojo. <laughs> oh, shit! He hit the fucking Ric Flair. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, this one is not Photoshopped. I believe this one. This one might be real. That's such a weird angle to do it. Why like this? Coney, do it? I don't think I can. I'm scared. I don't want to hurt. That guy looks like the MySpace dude. He's definitely hitting the Tom. Oh my god. Holy shit. I want you guys to know. Behind me, right here is not safe for work. I'm literally one pixel off. Oh my God, because I literally saw it on my screen and my heart jumped. If my cam was any smaller, there would be titties. Oh my God. That's insane. You can kind of see the top. That's insane. Thank God my cam is the size it is. Holy shit. 
<laughs> I gotta, I got, yeah, I gotta get off this page like I'm defusing a bomb. This is terrifying. If I click on that link, I die for a week. Oh, no. All right. That's not happening to me. Jeez. All right, Kent. I'm going to throw up. I have a very weak gag reflex. How does she do? Why does she go, like, up and in? I'm going to throw up. That'll get me banned, too. Throwing up gets you banned. Take the ring off. Oh, true. That would make for a terrible stream. That sounds like a fun subathon, though. While I wait for it to pass. Okay. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm not a throat goat. I'm really not. I have a very bad... Uh, gag reflex. It's really bad. <coughs> ah. I got up to my knuckles. Thank you, Yuns. I don't want to keep doing this because people in the... Uh, the viewership's going to get sick. Hold on. I'm going to mute so you guys don't have to hear it. Sorry. One more time. I'm genuinely not trying to get you sick. I just want to see if I can do this. I'm muting. I think I could. I think I could. I think I could. I could do it. I could do it. My eyes are starting to water. I really think I could do it. But I don't know if I could get my hand back out. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. But I think I could do it. I just don't know if I could get my hand back out. It's not throat goat behavior. It's not. Throat novice. <laughs> this is bullying. This is actually just bullying. He knew what he was doing. Look at this kid in the front. He's so sad. He didn't want to be out here anyway. <laughs> All right, this fucking kid. <laughs> How about a little bit of this one? What is that? This blue potion. Are these children? Yeah, I don't know if they if people just look younger now. Maybe this is an under 21 club. It's called Snobs in Birmingham. I don't know. Flask of Cerulean Tears. <laughs> Alright, bro, you're looking a little low on mana. Never be able to cast Randy's Full Moon without that. Here's a little bird one. <laughs> Some jolly cooperation. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Only that kid, too. It's so directly on his head. That's tough. <laughs> oh my god. That's an actual pog. You ever see a pog in real life? I love that. Seeing somebody actually pog in real life with no irony. Try it? No. You could die from this. Well. It couldn't keep going, right? That's cartoons. <laughs> like, <laughs> you could pull it out, right? It doesn't have like a flared base. That's the issue. My dad pogged at Home Depot once. That sounds like a dad, yeah. Yeah, you could die, right? I have TMJ. This hurts to look at. I don't think I have TMJ, but I can pop my jaw. Can you guys do that? I'm the only person I've ever met that can do that. If I go like this, if I like, uh, I can pop it. Both sides. You guys don't know what I'm talking about? Do it? No, it's loose now because I pop it every time I get a chance. I can't do it right now, but it makes a sound. I'll do it on whenever I can on stream. It's not good. It means your teeth are fucked up. Does it? I don't think my teeth are fucked up from that. I don't have good teeth, but I don't think it's like messing up with my jaw. Thanks, Captain Flair. You shouldn't do it much. Uh-oh. <laughs> I've been doing it my whole life since I was like 12. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> That's funny. Tiny teeth, Tony. I don't have tiny teeth. I have normal sized teeth. They're just spaced out. I have carnivore teeth for eating meats. 
There's that kid again. So sad. <laughs> That's pretty good. Got a little Cheeto dusting on that one. Oh, no. <laughs> the best part about this, he didn't know. This poor guy. He probably has never even seen this picture. <laughs> that poor woman. What is this like a, is this like a, is this a, like a skin toner? I don't know what product this is. What is this? Spray tan? Why would you ever spray tan? I don't get it. It's so easy to normal tan or to go to a, I guess it's convenience. I don't know. <laughs> What's happening here? All right, this is the start of the night. Looking good. Got some young professionals in the building. Some lovely ladies. We're all sipping on Coronas. Not bad. What happens next? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, but I don't think it was legal. <laughs> I don't think what he was doing there was legal. And uh, I think you could tell that in the reaction here. He kind of looks like Gex a little bit. Got the Gex eyes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and this is the one that started it all. This is the first one. <laughs> That's the. This is the first one. There you go. What is he doing there? I think he's the weird one here, right? Is that someone's dad? What's he doing at this party? <laughs> He's a lobbyist? <laughs> what is he lobbying for? He's someone's dad. Okay, anyway, that's this Twitter. <laughs> a short adventure, but I wanted you to take it with me. I thought it was pretty fun. <laughs> that's like blowing me. By the way, again, this fucking Twitter... 736,000 followers. What the fuck? Oh my god. That's unreal. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. How did they grow so fast? Alright, next up. <laughs> Guys, you're not gonna believe this. I have a second game. Yeah. It's a second game that was released only to me that no one else knows about, okay? Did you know they made a game based on everybody's favorite dog? Courage. They made a Courage the Cowardly Dog video game. Actually, hold on. I gotta make sure that it's, uh, my controller is gonna work here. Hold on. Everybody's favorite cartoon dog was supposed to have a game for the PS1. But unfortunately, I, uh, I don't know if it ever was finished. Hold on, let me make sure that my thing is working. Let me get my controller. One second. Okay. Hold on. What's the... Hmm. Oh, I gotta set up the things. Hold on. Uh-huh. Ah, that's what it was. Hold on. I gotta get the latest update on my PS1. <laughs> because I forgot that the current one doesn't work. One sec, one sec, one sec. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm getting... Uh, it's done. It's done right now. Okay? Don't worry, I finished it very quickly. I've been re-watching Courage for the past couple weeks. Yup! Well, there's an unreleased PS1 game 
which we're going to try out. I was given exclusive access to this game, if you can believe it. Oh. <laughs> that's, uh... <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to begin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Perfect ad timing. <laughs> that wasn't what was supposed to happen. Uh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> One second. <laughs> give me give me a minute. How did that happen? <laughs> how did how did that occur? I'm so confused. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, okay. Okay, I found it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's pretend like that didn't happen, okay? <laughs> Let's just wipe that from your memory. Four out of seven ads, you'll be with us soon. Don't worry. Let's pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> okay, here it is. Courage the Cowardly Dog. A real game! Amazing. Right, and it's real. Check it out, a real courage game. I never realized that I start on the TV. So I may or may not have uh, pre-played this a bit to see if it would work. I just wanted you to see it. There's no one in the house, by the way. <laughs> this is kind of quiet, isn't it? Oh, did I turn it down? Hold on. I probably turned it down at one point. Seems kind of quiet, doesn't it? Keep it quiet. Actually, it's probably a good idea. Okay. Probably a good idea. <laughs> it doesn't quite work as well once you know the uh, the payoff. Wait, I actually don't remember what to do now, though. I forget where I'm supposed to go. Ah, now I remember. Okay. <laughs> forgot about this guy. <laughs> okay. Now we gotta find the clues. I want to go back to ads, please. No, you wanted the ads to be over so bad, and now they are. Now you get to play Courage. Actually, I don't know where they are. <laughs> okay. I want to go back to the ads. Okay, uh This is like a YouTube ARG horror game. Yeah, it's 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 basically like a YouTuber horror game and I found out a little bit about it. So like you go to hell and you're in pur purgatory and I got stuck here for a while. But then I found out what you have to do is you follow you have to click on the le the chairs. And you make a pentagram, I think. 
like this. Okay, and then I guess that's here? No? Do I, where do I start? Can I start here? No, here. No, okay. You're supposed to follow the lines. I did follow the lines. No, the lines, I didn't understand where it went. Okay. Where is the line going? Oh, it went down. <laughs> never mind. I thought it kept going through. Never mind, never mind. It's fine. Okay, and then it makes a happy sound. Uh, but once it does that, you still don't have the answer of what you're supposed to do. Now, one thing I did find is that if you listen co carefully... Hear those birds? There's an invisible wall here. Uh, and that has a final thing there. Yeah. Good catch. Thank you. I don't know what the birds are supposed to be. And then, once you do all the chairs and then that, there's no way you discovered this. I did. I just hugged the wall and I heard the birds. And then, if you find the chairs and the birds, if I get jump scared, I swear to God, you, you will not. I promise. It's not a jump scare. Once you do all that, you come across the grave <laughs> of old Muriel Bag. Aw. And then the game dies. Here we go! Count Sobula should be playing this pet mod. Now it's too late. And then when you open it back up... You're here. So I kind of ruined it for you guys, because I started here. Uh, by the way, as far as I can tell, there's no way to get to that chair. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I have no idea. There's nothing here to help me. You, there's no, like, platforms. I did see this. Do you see how the light is a little different here? If you go that way. But, like, there's no way to tell how far you go or where. And eventually you fall. And die. So. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. Counts. I don't know how to fix that part. <laughs> I'm not going to keep playing that game, so. I just wanted you guys to see it. A brand new Courage game that just got discovered on the internet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what? They wanted to see it. They were curious. They wanted to know. And I'm so glad that they made this video to point it out. Uh-oh. You guys ready? These are the top gaming characters ranked by IQ. Where does your favorite gaming character lie? Let's find out. Enderman is only 50? I thought he was supposed to be smart. He's like evil, right? Damn, Chun Li's stupid. <laughs> you Ryu is stupid. <laughs> They're kind of dumb. A villager is smarter than Ryu? Donkey Kong is smarter than Ryu. What? He's literally not average, by the way. Oh my god, Yoshi's IQ is above average. That is insane. Where are they getting this information? Samus is dumber than Ness? He's, he's a child! Nico Bellic. Okay, that's a pretty smart guy. Nico Bellic is pretty good. Ellie? Okay. Sure. That's weird. Dr. Mario is smarter than Mario. That's weird. I just feel like he's more ambitious. Like he applies himself more, right? 
Robots don't have IQ. That doesn't make sense. Cloud? Cloud has 129 IQ? There's no way Cloud is smarter Yoshi than me. You could write up a decent dissertation on nuclear physics and or metaphysics no, and how they relate you to the You can't do that at 103 IQ. Is this an April Fool's video? Actually, no. <laughs> Mid-March. <laughs> this is real. It's not a joke. This is 100% real. Guys? I'm about to show you a Ganon render you've never seen before. I don't know if this is a spoiler for an upcoming game. Or if this is some kind of hint or reference. Check out this brand new Ganon. There he is. Leaked. Breath of the Wild 2 is about to go crazy. That's crazy. A brand new bold direction for the series. Frieza looks a little different than I remember, though. I thought he looked different than that. That's weird. Master Chief is not 160. Doom Guy is not 160. What the fuck? Link is not 175. That's like Stephen Hawking. Actually, wait a minute. Breath of the Wild Link is pretty smart. I've seen people on YouTube do some crazy things with the physics. That's actually kind of smart. I kind of believe in that one. Mm. Too smart to speak. Yeah, he's a savant. Mm. Oh. Hosea? Hosea. That guy? Where's Dutch? This is insane. Solid Snake is dumb as shit. Batman? Well, Batman, maybe. That's like his whole point, right? Okay, how high is this going? We're only two-thirds of the way into the video, and we are 200 IQ. Yahoo! How did I we get here? I can't wait for Link to slap the shit out again and before Planet Hyrule explodes <laughs> in Breath of the Wild Z. Why Genji? I don't know. Uh... Ah, Tracer. Just all of Overwatch, really. Echo? <laughs> oh my god. Albedo has an intelligence test in the game? Shut the fuck up. What the fuck is this? Hello, Josh viewers! Hi, everybody! Welcome to the stream. We're finding out what video game character is the smartest... Josh says he hates you. He said that because I said Kirby wasn't this smart. He loves Kirby. He thinks Kirby is 250 IQ. Dumbass, Kirby is not 250 IQ. He's stupid. Of course Josh would say that. Alex Yeek is going to be at the end. <laughs> Kirby is so smart. No, he's not. He's so dumb, dude. That's like his whole thing. Wait, would Kirby go... If Kirby ate you, he would get mad prions, right? Would he go crazy? Oh my god. Because if you eat a human brain, you get like prions. And you go crazy. If Kirby eats you, assumedly you eat your brain. Sonic is smarter than Spider-Man. Which may be true. Spider-Man's kind of dumb. He's just funny. <laughs> Sonic is as smart as... What the fuck is this? Ugh. Hope you guys weren't looking at the mic on that one. Ugh. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Like fucking Crash Bandicoot? Okay, Tom Nook is... Per okay, this is insane. Th they're shit posting. They're shit posting now. I don't believe them anymore. This is stupid. We're at the end. Who is the smartest video game character of all time? Over Alakazam and Mewtwo. Number one. Tails? Mm. Tails wasn't even on the list. If, ta if, if Tails is smarter than Sonic, and Sonic is 300 IQ, 
Alex Yeek, <laughs> Dr. Light, Wario, Eggman. No, we already saw Eggman. Sora? Let's find out. <laughs> what? Thank you for watching today's video. What? 98? He's as smart as two Mewtwo's? Are we really just going off what he says in the game? Are we acting like this is factual? <laughs> I, I want to make a game just to just to call one of the characters super smart. Just to get okay, on I'm this sorry. channel, dude. I don't care this if I'm excellent. wasting money at this point, but how the fuck is Crash's IQ yeah, I don't anywhere know. over 25? He is literally a goofball by design. Yeah, I thought Crash was actually supposed to be like brain dead. Because he's, he's a mashup of two animals, right? Isn't he kind of insane, too? Like the insane rabbit guy? Bowser's smart enough to hide it? This is insane. Okay, well, this video was a miss. Uh, by the way, this is Watch Game. Watch Game is uh, like Watch Daily, but for gaming. Finally. <laughs> yeah, there's richest gamers. I watch this on my own time. <laughs> I had to watch this one. But I wanted to know, this one was more important to me. How many X to kill all humans? 20 trillion Magikarps. 2 million Marios to kill every human? Uh, How many humans are on the planet? 7 billion, right? Seven billion. So, every Mario. Hold on. Seven, seven billion divided by two million. Every Mario has to kill 3,500 people. Which I think is actually, you could do that. They could do that. They have fire powers and, and can fly. That's definitely doable. I was going to balk at that, but no, I think that's true. I actually think that's true. <laughs> okay, I don't know about that. Agent 5047 wouldn't be able to do it. We would all see him. He needs to be stealthy. Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Freddy kills one person at a time in his suit. Groot. <laughs> do, you do you think that they just put pop culture characters and a randomizer I feel like they might I don't think it, this kid. what the fuck Timo Kirby you only need 25,000 Kirby's I feel like you would need more than that or less than that Kirby's strong he could kill way more Kirby way more people than that not one. Not one Kirby. He's only eight inches tall. Come on. How many Master Chiefs? 12k Master Chiefs. I guess that's Gen... Okay, that's Genshin. Yeah. 7k Doom Guys seems kind of high. 5k Lynx. <laughs> 4k Senator Armstrongs. I guess that's including political power. Four hundred Pac Men? Seven billion divided by four hundred. Every Pac Man would have to eat seventeen million people. I don't think they're gonna do that. We need more ghosts. <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I don't believe this channel. I think this is stupid. This is ridiculous. Can Pac-Man even open doors? I don't know. I don't think so. I opened doors for him in that Genesis game where you gotta, like, guide him. Gerald of Rivia? I don't know who Delson Rowe is. Emmett Selch? Xenonort? Xenonort, sorry. Forgive me, of course. That's not a video game character. Can you, can you start a manga channel? This is so stupid. 
Who's going to be number one? Kerrigan, okay. Ba two Bayonettas. And one... <laughs> wait, wait. 1.2. But not just one. But it only takes one Naruto. Wait, the video keeps going? The video is going to keep going. It's not over. <laughs> okay. That doesn't make sense. This part doesn't make sense. 0.9 Kefkas? 0.1 Shreks? How, how deep down can we go? Arceus. He is a god. Right. Nyx. I don't know who that is. Kratos. Uh, 2.5 Kratos. How deep is this gonna go? Okay. Yeah. Point zero three Amaterasu's. What? <laughs> that is three percent of a wolf. Ah, Goku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. That's true. But stronger than Goku is Hero Brian. Thank you for watching today's video. That's Steve. Isn't that Steve? It just looks like that's not Steve. I thought that was Steve. What's different? That's Hero Brian. Shut up. Okay. All right. Net worths. Who's the richest gamer? <laughs> I just want to skip to the end. It's 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 Mr. Beast, right? Ninja, Beauty Pop. Okay, yeah, we got it. Thank you for watching. He gives away so much money. There, done. I just wanted to see. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, I'm like in the middle somewhere. I'm in the middle. Yeah, I'm 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 after uh, I'm after Saikuno, but before Dream, of course, you know. But I'm up there. I'm up there. I just don't want to, you know, watch the whole thing. Look at this XQC face, by the way. <laughs> they did him kind of dirty on that one. They didn't have to do that. This channel is crazy. <laughs> this channel is fucking wild. All right. Remember when I said I had one more game for you? I lied. I have one more game for you. I'm not actually playing this, by the way. <laughs> this is so stupid. The one who pulls out the sword will be crowned king. Sorry it was so quiet. Before when I played it, it was crazy loud, so I turned it, uh, I turned it down. Now, I'm showing you this because I thought it was pretty funny. The idea is there's a sword in a stone, and it gets longer and heavier every time somebody pulls it out. So, all you have to do is pull it out. The problem is, uh, it gets harder, and right now it's at difficulty 5,548. Now, I tried to play it, and, uh... I'm not doing this. I'm not playing this game, so just wanted you to know. <laughs> it's insane. From what I heard, when it's at the 4,000s, it takes an hour and a half. So maybe when we get to... T By the way, I have to slowly move my mouse up, and if I look away from it, I drop it. So um, now there are accessibility options. <laughs> maybe that will make it easier. Ah! Oh, it only applies the I'm Biden mode. posting okay. and you can't stop me. Okay, never mind. You could cheese it with a controller? Hold on, let me try offline. Offline has got to be easy. It's Gen Z Desert Bus. Dude, it's still kind of long. Actually, this isn't bad. It's coming out.
It's kind of... It's working a little bit. I just can't believe people will sit on this for hours. Damn it. What's that? I can't move my mouse anywhere. It has to go straight up and I run out of mouse pad. Stop resetting it. I can't... Dude! Wait, do you have to... Is that resetting it? Oh, I see. I have to hold my mouse down. Oh, I'm so stupid. Fuck! I dropped it! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, I could just up my DPS. <laughs> hold on. Oh, no. Wait, doesn't upping my DPS help? Oh, God, but it's harder to keep on the sword. This is scary. It's way harder to keep on the sword, but it is coming out faster. Fuck! <laughs> but if I lower DPI, DPI, or DPS, if I lower DPI, it won't move up as much. See? Hold on. Come on. God, I hit my fucking keyboard. I should grab it from here, because there's more space on the left and the right. Okay. How long is the sword? I'm actually invested now. The worst part is picking your mouse up to move it back. Wait, why don't I just go back down? Oh, wait, I can't. Because I had to take my mouse off my mouse pad. How long is the sword? Are you kidding me? I would love to look down. How long is this fucking sword? Dude, this is... It's so hard. Dude, it's so hard. Because when you pick up your mouse, it's so hard to not put it down. Move on. You're not the king. Shut up. I will be king. This is so hard. Mallory texted me, that looks super neat. And I thought she was, like, she had my stream up, upstairs. <laughs> but she meant some, a link that I sent her. <laughs> but I thought she was trying to be supportive, like, wow, what a cool game! <laughs> like, Honey, this is miserable. Not having fun. Dude, this is actually pissing me off. Because <laughs> I have higher DPI, so my mouse doesn't move. Or is the witty baby having two other way moving his itty bitty swaddy waddy ye? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up this instant. Oh my god. I'm getting angry. <laughs> I'm. I. I'm offline too, by the way. 
If you're online, it takes you an hour and a half of not messing up. I just have to pick up my mouse very delicately. this how long is this dude this is insane oh my god okay <sighs> this is insane this is insane this is insane why <sighs> oh my god 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 I hear a waddle D. Oh my god. I don't understand the controls. You have to click on it and move your mouse up. But if your mouse goes off the sword, you drop it. The problem is, by by picking your mouse up and pulling it back, it, like, flails like that, and then it fucking... Is it... Is it the laser? This is insane. Why can't my mouse go straight? You could pause the game to save the... <gasps> Wait, you're right. <laughs> Wait, what if I hit escape again? Yeah! Pro Babble Royale tip from a Babble Royale pro. Oh, yeah, let us be a B Y okay. spell baby, which is what Coney is. Shut up. Okay, if you hit escape again, then it un it unsaves. Okay. I will be king of England. Ah, that's much better. That's much better. Stop cheesing? Shut up. You'll be the first to be executed when I'm king. Ah, it's a believer's night. Oh, yes it is. We love believers in the kingdom of Coney. Yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. Your faith shall be rewarded when I am oh! king. Your mouse arm is getting itchy, TF. Stop. It is not. How high does this have to go? Dude, how long is this fucking sword? This is insane. Look down and see. No. Oh my god, this is so stupid. How do my hands even go this high? Dude, what? What? Does it end? Like, is there an ending? Got it. I'm the king! Oh my god, look at that. Jesus Christ. I'm the rightful king! Oh, this is nice. There's even a cutscene. 
The true king! Security, get rid of everybody that throws tomatoes at me. Throw them in the dungeon! All doubters to the doubters dungeon, this instant. <laughs> the best part about having a sword this long is I can slay you from here. King of England, ew. <laughs> I can, I can correct England's course as king. I can make it a not cringe country. God, that game would have been impossible. How would I have done that without technology? Technology that I'm allowed to use. Yeah. <laughs> wow, congrats. Your kin of Britain. So in a way. Why does he say wow like that, loser. by the way? I don't like that. I don't get I don't like how he says wow like that. I used magic, yes! I called upon Merlin to help me with a time spell. Thank you, Merlin. My old mage. <laughs> The sword wasn't tall, That's Coney so is just funny. short Lamau. That is so funny what you just said. What you just said on my stream is so funny what you typed. That's so funny. It's so funny that you said that in front of all these people. It's so funny. That's so funny. Stop I can't think. Yep, bequeath unto me the sword. I am knighted. Thank you, former king. Execute him! Off with his head! Oh my god, that's kind of brutal. I am now king! King of all England! And I'm in offline mode, so no one will ever be dethrone me. No one will besmirch my good name. <laughs> Next time someone wins, you get executed too. Nope, I'm in offline mode. I will never die. I will rule forever. Yeah, so this game apparently, uh, mwah. nobody else kiss her. That was my kiss. None of you guys better kiss her. <gasps> oh, might have to cut off the stream in a second. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. We're addressing our our beloved public. It's good to be the kid. Oh, oh, I'm crowd surfing. Oh, they love me. Great game. How do I skip? Okay. Anyway, this game is free. And uh, it is... I'm not doing the whole thing. <laughs> Apparently, at 4,000 difficulty, it takes about an hour and a half of pulling. What are we at now? Five, five, four, eight. Okay, in the time since I started this game, eight more people did it. Now, every 10,000, it resets. So maybe I'll come back to it. But no way am I doing that. That's insane. That is several hours. Absurd. Someone just did it. I, eight people did it. The difficulty goes up by one every time. No, I'm not doing that. I have a stream to run. Insane. Pro babble. I don't know why that keeps happening. Your mouse arm is getting it. Wow, congrats. No, I'm, I'm reloading it. <laughs> I don't know why the uh, overlay keeps doing that. It's weird. Okay, you guys wanted it, and now you're going to have it. The time has come. Your patience will be rewarded. Fellows. You've waited long enough. One moment. Okay, I'm not watching Samir, but I will say this video is quite intriguing. Look at this. <laughs> oh, by the way, tomorrow is uh, content night. Uh, we're doing factor opinion and then a mystery thing. Um, and we're going to find out wheel champ on Sunday. So we're going to spin the wheel again. And then I'm probably going to have one more thing. So, it'll be fun. Tomorrow's going to be really fun. I think tomorrow's going to be good. I'm excited. Coney, will we ever get another Hunger Games? Probably not. Dude, I keep saying it. There's not, like, there's nowhere else to go with that. Kick copies Will Smith slap. 
Now, we're not watching this, but I wanted you to see that he did it. <laughs> Look at him go. Insane. Why does he do what he does? Insane. Are you using YouTube comments for fact your opinion? Nope. Using Twitter. We used YouTube once. Twice. Not very often, though. We like them to feel included, but never like we're equals, you know? Because they're not here, so it's not quite the same. Yeah. All right, we are going to start the mojoing. It's been a while since we've had a mojo, but now we're back. Fellas, your favorite movies are here. The best factoids on the internet, and we're going to start off with the top 10 weirdest Pokemon Pokédex entries. This will actually be fascinating for me as someone who doesn't know anything about these creatures. I know one of them is hotter than the sun or hotter than 50 suns. Something like that. Um, and then one of them is God. Uh, Macargo. I thought that was Slugma. I'm not even making like a Slugma thing. I thought Slugma was the hot one. Because it's like a snail thing, right? Um, Slugma balls. Yeah, that's that's very funny that you guys said that. Yeah, see, see YouTube? They're pretty funny. Don't you want to watch the stream so you can be a part of this? It's really fun. I can't. Okay. What are the top 10 weirdest Pokedex entries? Let's find out right now. No way Alakazam is one. He's just a psychic. Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top Ashley, 10 that's weirdest a girl's Pokedex name. entries. It's saying something so scary that it's better off you kept in the dark. Scary. For this list, we're going they could to probably make like 50 of these, right? Information on Pokemon from Pokedexes in the Pokemon games. There it is. That one's hotter than the fucking sun. That one's hotter than the sun, right? What's the weirdest Pokedex entry that we didn't include in our list? Let us know in those comments. And as always, if there's That's a stupid. Pokemon list you want to see, go to Tony is a girl's name too. No, -uh. not the way I spell it. <laughs> Number 10, Darumaka. A roly-poly fire-type Pokemon, Darumaka's Pokedex entries can be broadly divided into two categories. Whoa, what's that? Uh -huh. The first kind focuses on Darumaka's sleeping patterns, including trivia, like its sleep cycle, being tied to how strong its flames are. Or oh, it's that a it fire be thing? Over when sleeping. These are fairly normal when it comes to Pokedex notes. Sure, so it's a roly-poly oh, so that cute. doesn't fall down. That's cute. The weird ones began in the Generation 6 games, which concerned Darumaka's droppings. Apparently, their feces are so hot that people in the Pokedex world used to put them in their clothes during cold weather. No Nothing like pocket poo to warm you in the winter, eh? And as for you two, no more stealing people's food, okay? Pokemon poop? I never thought that they did that. I never... Is there, is, is there more evidence of that in the Pokemon universe, or is it just that one? Does, is this the only Pokemon that poops? They make eggs. I know they make eggs. They reproduce. They actually make hot shit. <laughs> don't don't be like, oh, all animals poop. All and yeah, I've never seen a Pokemon poop. I played Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I tracked a fucking Parasect for like thirty minutes. I didn't see it poop once. Maybe I should have done it for longer. I don't know. I've never seen a dolphin poop. That's true. I have seen a fish poop before. I used to have an aquarium. It's like a string. It's really gross. Take that out of the video. I don't want them to know that. <laughs> That's gross. It's really nasty, though. It's really bad. No one poops every 30 minutes. You live a charmed life. <laughs> My existence is Wait, India! I didn't even think of that! Wait a minute! Where's Pokemon? India's real! Either that, or it was somehow a foreshadowing for the creation of Kabajar. India is Pokemon canon. Oh my god! Oh, 
There's no like Number India eight, region, Pangoro. right? Kabaja? Is that panda what they said? That looks like a delinquent. That sounds Pangoro like a fun game. Is a powerful fighting slash dark type. Did you know Kanto is real, dude? I was I I found out that Kanto Kanto was real, and I didn't believe it. I thought I was getting memed on. I think it was on this stream. People said Kanto Japan, and I was like, yeah, okay, buddy. I think that's what happened. Do you guys remember that? I, I'm pretty sure that happened on this stream. I didn't know. How would I have known? If you ask the average Japanese person, what's Kansas? They won't know. Oh, that's a real place? I don't know what that is. Pokemon. <laughs> no, they don't. They won't know what Kansas is. You're a, how weeb do you have to be to think that Japan knows all of our states? Huh? They know everything, Bat Chest. They're so smart. The, it, its Pokedex information suggests that What's it a say smart anime character? Just like Light from my favorite anime. I don't know. I don't know a smart anime character. <laughs> Goku? No. Light, a, a few people said light. Okay, I guess that's the best one. That's just fine. Just like light from my favorite anime. I bet he knows where Kentucky is. Dump trucks flying. <laughs> in addition to making light them works cool, well. Okay, good. The leaves they keep in their mouths supposedly allow them to detect incoming movements. Uh -oh. <laughs> cool. But the most bizarre info in the Pokedex is in Pokemon Sun. In this game's Pokedex, Definitely thought it's he was gonna suggested say sauce. that the I don't know only why. way for trainers to converse with Pangoro is with their fists. So all the 10 year olds who use this thing in battle are able to beat up a seven foot tall bear? You have to beat it up to talk to it? That feels problematic. That's an animal. Number seven, Drampa. Like its name suggests, Drampa is like a grandfatherly dragon. Talk its with your hands, and pussy. Trees mostly focus on how it's friendly to children. However, they also touch on how Japan's so smart, but they don't know how to make good anime or games. Haven't figured TF. that one out yet. Haven't figured that out, unfortunately. Still stuck on old RPGs. That's the crazy thing. They're still putting out Final Fantasies, acting like it's the height of development. It's crazy. Like, Fallout's been out for, like, ten years now. Just do that. Wrathful it can be once properly roused. <laughs> While most of these entries are just about general anger, uh -huh. the one from Ultra Sun is disturbingly specific. It's a dragon, right? It says that if a child befriended by Drampa is bullied, it will track down the bully's residence and burn it to the ground. <laughs> In addition to raising questions about how Drampers locate the bully's wait, houses, wait, wait, with the bully inside, it, it's also worrying that the entry doesn't say if there's anyone inside the okay, houses or not. Okay, hey, they're way ahead of me. Watch Mojo knows what I was gonna think. That's crazy. So it's the anti-bully Pokemon. This was clearly made for troubled children. Pokemon was like, they're gonna love this one. <laughs> Any kid that's still into Pokemon after all this time is definitely getting their ass kicked at school. We need a Pokemon for those kids. Kids getting swirlies every day. <laughs> Quit bullying me or I'll get my Drampa on you. Yeah, and then you get stuffed into a locker. I wish Drampa was real. <laughs> Could you have one at work? There are work bullies too. I've had bully bosses. Could you burn down his house? Would they know it was me? I'd get fired. Hmm. Number six, Lavitar, a rocky know. green reptilian Pokemon. I would just lie Lavitar and say that I was getting bullied life cycle. and kill people. <laughs> How easy would it be to get away with murder in the Pokemon universe? Because, like, if you say your Pokemon did it, you're liable, right? Because it's yours. Like, if a dog kills someone, that's yours. But... If it's a Pokemon, not a psychopath, by the way. This is normal human be We've all thought it. We've all thought it before. How easy would it be to kill someone with Pokemon? Train your Pokemon to not get caught. <laughs> what Pokemon would be best at committing a murder? Probably one that could, like, disappear you, right? Like a Mewtwo. You just... 
right? Quagsire, Gengar. Oh, Gengar could kill someone in their sleep, right? Okay. This is podcast shit. Now I'm interested. I'm curious. That's interesting. While its evolutions are odd enough, it's its birth that raises eyebrows. Birth? <laughs> According to the Pokedex, Lavatar eggs are laid deep underground, and when they hatch, they burrow to the surface to see their parents' faces. Aside Aww. from this going against most real-world animal behaviors, it's also different from other Pokemons. That's cute. It's even directly contradicted in the anime and games, with Lavatar hatching on the surface. I did it! Shut up. Don't go overboard. You didn't hatch it. That was the a Pokedex shitty one. The also claims that Lavatar consumes not only soil, but also entire mountains. Not in groups, mind you. One Lavatar alone. How totally. are there any okay. mountains at all if there's Next a whole one. species of Boring. these things? Boring. You're all right now. Lavatar. Number five, Gorobis. Okay, I. this is for the YouTube viewers. Actually, I may have talked about this in Pokemon. I didn't know Pokemon don't say their names. Never knew that. I didn't realize that was a thing. I thought, like... I thought I only watched the cartoons, and when I played the games, it was on the Game Boys. So, like, they made, like, a... sound. But I thought that was just, like, limitation, but they were saying their name. But then I found out they don't. It's kind of weird. Gorbis is plenty weird simply by the fact of its biology. It's a clam that turns into an eel. Okay. Despite cool. its elegant appearance, Gorobis is much more sinister than its looks would suggest. While most Pokedex entries portray it as a delicate herbivore that feeds on seaweed, it- That is not an herbivore. Look at those teeth. Its first game's entries paint a different picture Yeah, what entirely. does that eat? Gorobis, the South Sea Pokemon. Gorobis is the evolved form of Clamper. That one a might be an herbivore. And beautiful to watch. According to Ruby and Sapphire, Gorobis lives at extreme depths and is unharmed by normal attacks. It's also apparently a predator that inserts its tiny mouth into its prey and drains them of their fluids. Oh! Neither the games or the anime seem to back up the idea that oh! it's an invincible underwater mosquito. And boy, are we thankful for that, because that sounds bloody terrifying. I feel like that's real, right? Don't fish do that? I think there's a fish that Wait, Gorbis is the pink one in particular? Oh, they're not- I thought it was like Gorbis male and female. Okay. Got it. Yeah, animals do- yeah, Leeches do that? I thought there was another fish that had like a stinger. Right? That's not a leech. It's too pretty to be a leech. Ugh! I would definitely get close to that Pokemon because I'd be like, oh, that's cute, and I would die. And boy, are we thankful that for that. That would eat my- I would get my blood sucked terrifying. immediately. He'll use that Gorobus and Huntail and probably go extreme siphon on top of them. Number four, Mimikyu. The I know this blend one. Of creepy and cute, Mimikyu well, not is a really. ghost slash fairy <laughs> Pokemon. I think it turns into stuff, to right? Resemble Pikachu. On closer inspection. Or is Although it some of its dead? Pokedex entries know. make it clear that Mimikyu are lonely and imitate Pikachu to make friends, others make it clear that getting too close to them can spell disaster. <laughs> Oh my god! Several Pokedex entries refer to people dying after seeing what lies beneath Mimikyu's disguise, either from well, fright at the sight of it, or later of some terrible disease or pain. <laughs> and Jesus Pokemon Christ! Pokemon is a hobby for children in this world. Mimikyu oh my god! Because it wants to. So children just like look under the Mimikyu and die? Oh my god! Holy shit! Yeah, but wait, Meowth didn't die. He didn't die later either, right? It seems to me there's a whole lot of resentment going on. It's not cool. Oh, he did. Number three, okay. Kadabra. Oh, my mistake. Okay, sorry. Kadabra everybody. is one of the strangest Pokemon out there Never with a lot of lore behind I, I it. I didn't know that part of the lore. Bless up. Some of its Pokedex entries concern its spoon. I can't. Who was it? It was on this stream, right? Somebody told me he got the. He got the. Like the the bacon? What is this? He's got like the it's like it's like the 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 hand dryers at the airport, right? You can put your hand under. Yeah. The SS symbol. That's what it is. I forgot he 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 hails Satan. Yeah. 
My friend Vin pointed this out. Uh, how did Kadabra get a spoon in Pokemon Arceus? Isn't that game in, like, feudal Japan? <laughs> Why is he walking around with fucking technology? How do you do that? <laughs> they don't even have that. It's a wooden it's spoon? Oh, wait, is it? Okay, all right. All right, you got it. You got it. It was a ladle. It was a ladle. Okay, Next entry sure. is concerned it's spoon... Which is somehow tied to its Maybe they powers. got spoons from him, Even yeah. Even more concerning than its accessories, though, is its origins. According to several entries, Kadabra is supposedly a human child with psychic powers that somehow became a Pokemon. How? <laughs> it has a mustache! Out of universe, it's probably a reference to Yuri Geller. The psychic whose appearance Kadabra is partially based on. Yeah, but... All the anime Acura. Why is but it a kid? Universe, it's incredibly disturbing that one of your Pokemon might be a person enslaved a to person. find Pokemon <laughs> for your amusement. This accent is killing me. Birth. A person. Bro, when I was in Australia, I was literally copying the commercials. There's, like, I, I don't know why. I couldn't stop. So Australia has different commercials. One of them is for a website. It's called, uh, fuck, what's it called with the two rabbits? Something do. Jim do. I'm Jim, and I'm do. And together, we're Jim do. <laughs> I couldn't stop doing it. I couldn't stop dancing. It's funny to me that, like, Pokemon did that for Charmander, too. It's like, yeah, if the, if the tail goes out, he dies. And it's like, why? <laughs> you didn't have to add that fact. You're just going to make a kid sad. That's literally only in there to make children sad. Aren't those his intestines? I think I remember that. Somebody told me those are his intestines, or was that was I getting? Okay, I'm getting question marks in chat. I, all right. Well, I mean, like I thought, why else would he die if that wasn't like a vital organ? It's a tail. Well, your tail doesn't need to be stimulated, or you die. I don't think. It's probably his tummy. It pumps his heart. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. Spoink, yeah. time to put the pearl back on your head where it belongs. There. Spoink, Feel better already, huh? Before we get to our top pick, here's some honorable franchise. mentions. Yamask. Supposedly, these masked ghost Pokemon are the deceit. How can it be an internal organ outside? It's a tail. A tail is an organ outside. It's it's a hard intestine. It's a hard intestine inside the sheath of his tail. The spirits of people. Yamas! A Yamas! Primeape. It can become so <laughs> angry, it dies. Me too. Me too. I have to be very careful. Give me a smile, buddy. <laughs> Does anybody remember the bucket? <laughs> anybody remember get the get the bucket meme that we had for a little while? I missed that. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Slow bro, the shelter on its tail. I don't even know, remember what caused that. Poisoning it. I just love oh, that. Slowpoke is beginning to evolve. <laughs> ah, Man Wait, what was that one? Is beginning to evolve. Tail is the shelter on its tail is constantly poisoning it. Oh, that's like a real animal, right? Poisoning it. It's like parasitic. Oh, Slowpoke is beginning to evolve. Evolve. Ah, Mad Cargo. Its body temperature is listed as hotter than the surface of the sun. Stupid. How? That's Stupid amazing. Pokemon. Wow. This area is crawling with wild Macargo. You would die instantly. This is the most dangerous place on the planet. There are there are 15 suns. So What's number one don't then? Like this awful heat. Macargo. What's number one? What? Before we continue, be sure to Bro, subscribe the, to our how would the lions even get close? Channel and it ring would the bell fuck to get lions notified up. about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional Ugh. videos. I I was team if lion, you're on but your phone, make sure now to I'm go like, into uh, your settings and switch I don't know, on dude. notifications. Number one, Drifloon. With its cute appearance and its resemblance to balloons, it's no wonder why Drifloon is a favorite Pokemon of yeah, children. Yeah, these guys like pick up Drifloon kids, is right? With air and can either expand or they like to express they abduct fear. them or However, something. However, beneath its adorable exterior lies one of the creepiest backstories of a Pokemon, at least according to some Pokedex entries. 
Supposedly created from the spirits of people and Pokemon alike, Drifloon is apparently responsible for grabbing children and making them missing and or dragging them to the afterlife. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, you can! Holy shit! For Paige and Pikachu! Okay, Drifloon! Run. Why? Again, a hobby for children. Kids yeah. could apparently grab them <laughs> and get pulled Epstein's down to the underworld. Pokemon. Why is this Come thing on. the Pokemon equivalent of Pennywise the Clown? They do all float, we suppose. Again, why would they add that? This was referenced in Legends. I remember there was a side quest, but like, who at Pokemon is coming up with this shit? Storm's so scary. Ah. Nintendo's nah, weird. We're safe. Oh, thank you, whoever that is. You forgot a link, I think. Or anything, but thank you for the five bucks. Now, nice and dry in this Anonymous cave. Person. And you know, everybody's got to be out there looking for us. Everything's gonna be fine. Do you agree with our picks? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is he doing? Why is Amphoros doing that, you guys? He's probably just picking it up. It says it's an adult Pokemon joke. So what's the adult joke here? He's moving the sheep to the side. Clickbait? <sighs> I shouldn't fall for it. I shouldn't fall for it. I want to. I really do. Click it. It's calling to me. It really is. It really is. I know I know what they want. Uh oh, the toughest battles require the strongest wills. <laughs> there is an arrow, bro. Oh dude, that's true. Oh, it is beckoning. These entries are probably so crazy because a ten year old is filling out the Pokedex yeah. and just making shit up. That's such a funny theory to me. That the Pokedex is filled up by kids that are like, That Pokemon is so hot, he's hotter than the sun. I love that theory. That's an excellent theory. It reminds me of the uh, the one that's like, uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. So, twin so Metal Gear Solid came out on PS1. There was a GameCube one called Twin Snakes, and it was like the original Metal Gear Solid, but like crazy and weird and wacky. And the, the bit was always like, Twin Snake like Metal Gear Solid is what actually happened. Twin Snakes was like, what the stories were told, the mythos of it, the war stories. I'm like, oh, that's a sick theory. That's fun. I like that. Even though it's all bullshit, right? It's fan stuff. I'm not click. I'll click on it. I'll click on it. Whatever. It's a girl. But I'm not watching the whole yeah. thing. I'm not oh watching God. the whole thing. She I'm not watching the whole thing. I'm not click. I'm not. I'm gonna watch the end. Nearly had a character cursing in the Pokemon anime. Hold on. Where's the Ampharos? Where? What? Is he not in this? Where's that Ampharos? Aha. Come on. He's trying to pick him up. This is stupid. Directions. It's all to. He what? He said interactions. Children's shows are simply people looking too deeply into harmless interactions. Okay. It's hard to find any context in which this is supposed to be kid friendly. <laughs> An Amphros trying to get Come the attention on. of a Marip sounds innocuous, but the framing of the sequence implies something much, much worse. No, it doesn't! With the looping motion and pained expression on Marip's face, it's all but impossible to misconstrue. <laughs> okay, that one's a little worse. If that last one was a little worse. This is abysmal content. Yeah, this is terrible. They had nothing that day. That's bad. All right. Now, by the time you see this video, this will be a little late. Uh, in fact, it's a little late now. But I just saw it. Uh, we should have done it Sunday, but we did something else. These are the top 10 worst April Fool's pranks by companies, and I want you to know the thumbnail and why I clicked on this. I want you to know why I clicked on this. Because <laughs> I couldn't believe this was real. Hold on. <laughs> 
Hold on. Oh, they changed this thumbnail. The top 10 times Nintendo angered their fans. Damn. The fact I know that. The top 10 is Harambe. <laughs> Why? Why is that? Why is that their thumbnail? Why? Harambe? <laughs> I don't know what they mean by that. I have to know. Let's find out. April Fool's Fall. It's got to be Shall the Burger we? King tweet. Yeah, that has to be number one, right? This is for Volkswagen. That Burger the King shit has to be number under one. Under five for a marketing. Oh, Harambe. Prank gone wrong. Welcome to Watch Mojo. I get it. Today, now. we're counting down our picks for the top ten worst Harambe. April Fool's yeah. pranks by companies. What? <laughs> for this list, we'll be looking at jokes from businesses or professional offices that inspired groans, outrage, or had unintended consequences. Wasn't there one what where they... What do you think failed the hardest? There was some company... Good frame. There was some company that send, sent all of their workers like a, you can go home, it's time to go home, Get, feel free to take an early weekend off, and then it fired them for doing it? Do you know what I'm talking about? I remember something like that. There was a corporation that was like, it was something like, uh, you can go home, take the weekend early, whatever, but it was on April Fool's Day, and at the bottom in really smallest text it said, by the way, you need to stay April Fool's. That has to be illegal. I think it was, so go daddy. Was that it? Yeah, said their employees would get a 10% raise. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Or maybe I'm getting two stories mixed up. We'll see. I'm sure it'll be on. Let here. us know in the comments That's below. That's illegal? Well, yeah. <laughs> yes. Number 10. A really distracting fake UFO. Virgin Group. Branson and crew, a crew of five others, rewarded for their pioneering spirit, four minutes of weightless joy in space. Before billionaire Richard Branson got serious about going to space, his company decided to give civilians a taste of what might be amongst the stars. In 1986, uh -huh. Virgin Group made a hot air balloon look like a UFO and flew it over London. The That's trick pretty was funny. so convincing that drivers stopped and many notified the police that a potential invasion was imminent. That's a good idea. No, this is a good idea. I like this. When an officer reached the what balloon, is that? someone dressed like E.T. apparently greeted the official. This didn't make the lawman instantly laugh. That's According awesome. Officials, the UFO stunt wasted police resources that and rules. could have fostered a dangerous accident on the road where drivers stopped. No, this the one's excellent. Were probably happy Branson's company went on to invest in spacecraft instead of more ET suits. No, that's amazing. I, I love this. Got people talking, wasted some cops time, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know what the downside is here, right? Like, it's like, it, I, I don't, it's not like the police were conducting manhunts. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just bothering them for like a day, right? Wasting tax money? I guess so. I just, it's worth it for this. What else am I paying for? I'm fine with a little bit of my tax money going to, yeah, and this was in Britain. Do they even pay taxes? What? The queen gets all of those. The queen can afford it. Let, the, let them go on a, a jolly fun romp. Not a waste if it's making people happy. Exactly. That's what I like to say, too. I think that'd be cool. If I'm ever a millionaire, I'm doing this. I will so face I no curious, repercussions. What's the I can't believe I've never heard of this. And why do you keep doing these things that put you so close to the edge? Number nine. A Hummer giveaway becomes a bummer. KBDSFM Radio. It's better be good. I'm a busy man. You just spent 30 minutes trying to win a radio contest. For my wife. It's pretty common for radio stations to give away big prizes oh, is for this, simple Wait, contests. is this like the Simpsons so, thing? <laughs> a woman named Shannon Castillo <laughs> believes that KBDS FM Radio, a.k.a. Play 103.9, was giving away a Hummer. Uh -huh. So you do just about anything to get your hands on one? Yes, yes. <laughs> well, KQR Banger movie, by the way. All she had to Best do Christmas was movie. How made. many miles two Hummers had traveled after a week? Once Castillo guessed an appropriate 103.9, she was brought in to receive her prize, a toy car. 
The pranked oh, listener didn't no. let the radio station off the hook and sued them for around $60,000. Right? Although there's no indication yeah. that Castillo won the lawsuit, we think the radio station learned the potential cost of a misleading contest. What? No, that's insane. What? That's not even funny. Or clever. Oh wait, but it wasn't like a toy car, like a small thing. It was a remote controlled model. That's a that's a bit of a better price, right? That's like a hundred and fifty dollars, as opposed to like a a, a three dollar Hot Wheel. All right, you know what? She shouldn't have sued. Be happy for your See, gift. What we have I'm on here. the corporation I, side oh, now. <laughs> it's a gift certificate. Number eight. Reviving a meme too soon. Oh no. Lucid mattress. An innovation in sleep Not technology him. so Her? dank. Her. We have nothing else to say. <laughs> in 2016, news spread that a gorilla named Harambe had been fatally shot after a boy fell into the animal's enclosure. Oh, While man. the incident provoked a wide range of reactions, no one could have predicted that Truly. this tragic event would inspire a bed. A company called Lucid Mattress decided to advertise the Haram bed just in time for April Fool's Day. That in bed would be so hot. Expertly handcrafted from 100% authentic faux fur. Designed from the very beginning. You would you would dehydrate mind. overnight. They offered the chance to that lie sounds on awful. a bed with realistic fur and big arms. Although oh, I kind of like the arms. This uncomfortably realistic bed had a few fans. Others found I it kind to of be like the arms. Tasteless. What? I kind of like the arms, actually. That sounds kind of nice. Wait a minute. I hug pillows when I sleep. While it was popular to make mm. memes of Harambe at the time, the company I might have like released that. this joke product too soon after the Psychopath. gorilla's sad demise. What do you mean? Because I hug pillows? <laughs> of your the death means. of Harambe was what led us down this dark path. <laughs> you In think an the thread of time universe, was seven? Harambe lived and world peace was achieved by 2020. Dude, my wife and I watch Shark Tank, and we're like, how come nobody has invented a back rub machine? You just like crawl inside and it just does this on your back. How come nobody's made that, huh? Why do I need another person to give me a back rub? Unbelievable. You mean a massage chair? No, not a massage. A nice rub. Like maybe like I'm I'm imagining like a medieval, like a device, right? That sits on your bed and you put your head in like this and you just lay under it and it just like, you know, back and forth. You know? They make those. Link it. Now. I don't think it exists. A massage bed. <laughs> no. Stop. You guys are stun locked on this massage thing. You're stuck to the massage. It's not a massage. It's a rub, like with your fingertips. You guys are pissing me off. Water bed. I love. I actually liked water beds. My dad had a water bed, and I like sleeping in it. But I think it's the novelty of it. Any of you guys have water beds? Whoa! Look at that link. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa! <laughs> People talk. What is it? If this is a massager, you're getting timed out. If this is a massager, you are getting timed out. Ah. Uh Oh, uh oh, security, security, yep, get rid of them, it says right there, next time you should try listening to the stream, hmm, how about that, how about that one, huh, number seven, he got Fake double banned, about I said time out, we are not executing him, we're simply sending him to the dungeon, alien invasion, the Al Gad newspaper. Well, that's just War of the Worlds, right? A print outlet decided that aliens would make the perfect April Fool's Day joke in 2010. <laughs> so they issued a paper with a cover story that claimed extraterrestrials landed near the town of Jaffer. But people didn't exactly get the joke. It's the same everywhere. Okay, why do I not like this one? I love the Richard Branson one. But this one I don't like. Why? <laughs> Maybe because it's the news reporting on it instead of just it being in the sky. Coney, this is it. Hold on. Intersegmental roller table. Better not be a massager. It's not currently available. It doesn't exist. 
<laughs> what the fuck is this word? What did you just link me? Hmm? What does it say right there? It's not a fucking back rub machine. I want a back rub. I don't want a fucking massage. I want fingertips dancing elegantly across my back like an angel's feet. That, that, okay, that was a little weird. Like a fairy dancing upon my, my lumbar. That's what I want. I want a very delicate back rub, okay? Not whatever the fuck this is. This is a mechanical nightmare. A back is a bet. You guys don't. Okay. You guys don't get it. Okay. Uh, you guys just don't understand. You don't. Maybe when you're older, you'll get it. I guess. I don't know. I don't Once know what the to say. Start to move. No more news it's comes out of that same. area. It's not, not the same. Not only were security officials sent to investigate not possible visitors, but the city was nearly completely evacuated. A massage stimulates the muscles. A rub stimulates the skin. Do you really not know what I'm trying to say here? Do you really not? <laughs> I'm so... I can't believe... Okay, we're moving on. This is so stupid. Fortunately, the ruse was exposed so before dumb. life in the town was seriously disrupted so dumb. any further. The paper narrowly so managed stupid. to avoid getting sued by the <laughs> mayor for the big break. I'm mad at this. After this incident... YouTube, save me. YouTube, please. Please tell me I'm not crazy. Yeah! A back rub is different from the a death back... The Harambi was what let us down. A back rub is different from a back massage, right? Please, for the love of God, help me, because Twitch is so stupid. It, they it, could definitely it's so report stupid. On how this is seriously crazy. People take news about aliens. Draw us a blueprint in MS Paint. I'm not. I'm not. It would have been a really great story. story. Number six, a punny and unfunny Yahoo! name change. Do you really think chat has ever felt the, the touch of a I was going to make that joke, April but I thought it was too easy. To make I didn't sure that do the it. Joke but now I'm wondering. Is it on you? And unfortunately, Volkswagen has learned that the hard way. After Volkswagen got into hot water for tricking officials into thinking certain cars met environmental standards, you'd think they'd take it easy on pranks. Yet, they attempted to win consumers over with another joke in 2021. Uh -huh. News started spreading in March that so the company would change its name from Volkswagen to Volkswagen because <laughs> it was leaning into more electric cars. Earlier this week, the U.S. subsidiary Omega of the car Lull. company announcing it was changing its name from Volkswagen <laughs> to Volkswagen. Definition of back rub from Oxford. Now in a brief massage of a person's back and it's shoulders. It's not the same. After it's outlets the same. started buzzing about this We're change, not about the, the company thing. let everyone know it was a big hoax. While several journalists <laughs> became outraged Very at the funny. ruse, the company faced threats that an investigation might be started to see if the deceptive name change was illegal. <laughs> the backlash the company faced might keep them out of the race for best prank on future April Fool's Days. Bro, if I'm Volkswagen, I would just lie low for a while after the whole Nazi car thing. I I don't know if I would piss people off anymore. They should do an investigation under that. That's kind of... What do you mean, the what? They've laid low for 60 years? They should wait long... You guys... Are you guys, No, I can't believe people are question marking me. We've talked about it in this stream. It showed up in this stream. They They made Nazi cars. Why are people surprised? I can understand if people were first time in this stream, but if you've been here a while, you have no excuse to question mark. They are Nazi cars. Don't question mark me. They should lay low for a little while and not do stunts like this. German people can't be funny. It's impossible for them. Guys, I hope that the jokes keep coming, but that- I found the back rub machine. There is ah, no whoa, whoa, world. Whoa, 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 whoa. Volkswagen was literally created by Nazi Germany. There is Maybe pay attention no, in history class. There is no world where I am clicking on a tiny URL that says slash back rub Coney. This could be from a non-sub. This could end my career. This could be a torpedo directly into the stream. I'm not clicking on that. I'm not going to click on that on stream.
<laughs> I think they tiny URL'd this because uh, because the other one we made fun of. It's a fucking massager, dude. How can you guys be this inept? You you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get the sensation of a back rub versus a back massage. You don't actually understand it. It, it probably is SEO. That's true. But this looks more... It, it might be SEO. Let me look at the things. No, 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 no. Because, look, it's pushing the fucking spine. Back rubs are gentle. They're not the same. This is insane. I... Okay. What's the difference? Again, a back rub is a lighter touch. A back rub stimulates the skin, not the muscles underneath. I'm... I'm tweeting it. I'm going to show you guys that you're wrong. This is insane. How do you want me to phrase this so you guys don't get all fucking weird about it? Is a back rub always the same as a... Is a back rub the same thing as a massage? But it's all the time. Is a back rub... Always a massage? Hold on. Are back rub and massage interchangeable how about that are all back rubs massages that's not going to make sense make it a poll I will okay uh, are is there a difference between a back rub and a massage. Done. How about this? We good? I'm trying to get off this fucking topic. Good? Insane. It's fucking insane. All right. Everybody's going to go bomb that tweet and yet I'm still gonna win they're executed a little bit better in the future. <laughs> I shouldn't have said results I should have just said yes or no number five joking about the apocalypse Franklin Institute Science Museum madam president this comment is what we call a planet killer that is correct most people would at least double check Twitter if someone said the world was ending within a day. Unfortunately, this wasn't an option for a prank that occurred pre-internet back in 1940. Ah, Public that's relations true. agent William Castellini aims to both <laughs> celebrate April Fool's Day and No, this is <laughs> this is the car article again. This is a different thing. <laughs> this <laughs> This is the car article. This is not the other one. Franklin Institute Science Museum with a scary announcement. Oh. He gave a nearby radio station a release letting the public know the world was done for in less than this 24 so hours. I'm sorry, are we, uh, are we not being clear? We're trying to tell you that the entire planet is about to be destroyed. After angry citizens and emergency services learned that it was all a hoax, Castellini took a lot of heat. While the world didn't end that day, the PR agent's job at the Franklin Institute was soon terminated. Okay. We've taken that story as That one's kind of boring. World's Ladies, ending. Problem? I wish you a very pleasant end of times. Number four, making Rick Rolling popular. YouTube. That movie is horrendous? It's not bad. It thinks it's smarter than it is. If you haven't it's been tricked great, into though. watching Never Gonna Give You Up when scrolling through videos, you must have been one of the luckiest people alive. This undying internet trend pulls viewers in with a fake title or video description before yeah. hitting them with this Rick Astley classic. One it's of the really reasons funny. this prank became so commonplace was because of YouTube. In it's April really 2008, funny. the site tricked users into watching Never Gonna Give You Up by Get putting fucked, bogus by video links on the homepage. Yeah. 
spotted? Although the joke was funny for a moment, it got obnoxious and old pretty quickly. We might never be safe from Rick Astley's signature track thanks to one YouTube prank. Never gonna give you up. Stop, never bro. Gonna let you down. Stop, never bro. Gonna run Stick to wrecking it. I forgot. Yeah, actually, wait a minute. This editor hasn't posted any Simpsons yet. That's crazy. It's a different guy. Got some new blood on the team. Rehabilitated. While there are many reasons an inmate can be released from prison early, the process doesn't... Hates me, Bowser. Uh -huh. With my 9,800 IQ, I will settle this back rub versus back massage kerfuffle. Yeah. By sure. definition... All back rubs are massages, no. but not all massages are back rubs. Wait. Only fellow 9,800 dickers can refute, which is none of you, but especially not Tony. Okay, never type IQers into my TTS again. I need you to never type that again. IQers is not a phrase we can use. Didn't like that one. My ears, like, perked up. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> all back rubs are massages, but not all massages are back rubs. No, other way around. All massages are back rubs, but not all back rubs are massages. Because you literally... This is so stupid. You guys are so dumb. Often come down to care. a public you vote. Guys are so One stupid. police department... You guys are so fucking stupid. I hate you so much. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm getting baited. I'm getting baited. I'm getting baited. I'm, getting baited. I'm sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. Joke. I'm sorry. I'm getting baited. I'm getting baited. Whichever one of their prisoners got a large amount of votes. Liam is fucking spitting. Spitting. Fucking spitting. There. Thank you, Liam could walk out of jail sooner and get a generous stipend so as they dumb. left. Out number two, a horrible article, Playboy Romania. How horrible? You know I don't allow Playboy magazine no, in this house. Stevie gave it to me. I was holding it for... You have filthy and pure thoughts! An offshoot Romanian branch of the popular Risque magazine found themselves blasted with criticism on all sides because of an absolutely despicable move. The office published an article where they described how a person could mistreat their spouse and hide the evidence. They also included terrible illustrations. While magazine representatives what? were quick to say it was all satire, they were hard-pressed to find anyone who thought this article had anything resembling uh... humor. Who gave you this article? I guess it depends because on what I kind of... A, uh, what are they talking about here? Archive. <laughs> In the How? wake of this horribly misguided attempt at an April Fool's joke, there were public protests and apologies from other sections of the company. It's clear the uh -huh. editors should have never let an extended article that made light of serious domestic abuse issues ah, okay. see the light of day. I don't ever want yeah, to see okay. this filthy magazine in my house again. Yeah, now no. take this away! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and- Coney, are you gonna play Lego Star Wars? Lego's so hype. I wanted to read that out loud so you would have to sit with it. The fact that I had to, I read that out loud, and now the whole chat knows that you said that. <laughs> I'm not, I don't like Legos. I don't like Legos. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'll give it up. I'll give it up. You stood your ground. I'm not a Lego guy. And ring the I'm bell to get notified guy. about our latest videos. I'm a grown You up. have the option oh. to be notified for occasional Toys? videos or all of them. Toys that look like day, movies. Make sure you go into your settings and switch on That's not a back scratcher. Shut the fuck up. Number one, the minion mic drop misfire. Google. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This shit is so fucking funny. Sending a message from your Gmail account on April 1st, 2016 could have had disastrous <laughs> consequences if this ill-advised prank went I on longer. I forgot about this. <laughs> hmm. Message sent. Hey. 
<laughs> On that fateful day, Google added a button that placed a GIF of a despicable me minion dropping a mic into outgoing messages. It had an awful added bonus of automatically muting conversations. Since this minion button was easy to press accidentally, you could reply <laughs> to a serious message without knowing what happened. Gmail users were furious oh that my they looked God. unprofessional. I was going to be the picture of elegance and class, and you pinheads I forgot it about that. No, no, no. And Matt even claimed he lost his job <laughs> over the joke feature. Fortunately, Google put a stop to the prank early on April Fool's Day. At least the company can say it, it found the worst way to use the already obnoxious minions. I forgot about that. I thought it was on automatically. I thought you had to opt in to turn it off. But basically, hold on. Oh my god, this shit was so funny. This shit is so good. So, you, it would automatically, I thought, I guess you had to hit a button for it, but it would add this little animation of a minion dropping a mic, and then it would block anybody else from responding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. It was up until 4 a.m. that day. Oh, my God. Four hours in April Fool's Day. They had to take that down. That is so... Oh, my God, dude. Oh. That's funny. There were a lot of uh, funny examples of this. They just added that fucking mic drop in there. It's so good. People definitely got fired over this. Oh, dude, absolutely. And how do you... Yeah, it was Google. Google did it. How do you... They're not going to believe you. They think you just added a minion gif. That is how the minions oh. found their new boss. Do people have normal conversations over email? I don't think so. I don't know who does. I certainly don't. The only conversations I have over email are, like, professional. Like, if I have a business email for, like, a, a job I'm doing or something. Yeah, I don't think people do that anymore. That's insane. <laughs> Liam. Liam earned it. Liam earned the mic drop on that one. Yep. I'll give it up for that. Hell yeah, Zem. That's my guy. Perfect. Good. All right. <laughs> now, as we all know, Watch Mojo is hilarious all the time. Watch Mojo is so fucking funny. We love them and their sense of humor. And they've listed off the top 10 funniest banned products. And we know how funny they are. We're going to check and see. Hey, if it's Watch Mojo, these have got to be riotous, outrageous. Truly cream of the crop comedy. I can't wait to see it. We're going to look at the time. And we love products on this stream. We really do. That's true, Joplin. We love products here. And I can't wait to watch these. But first, I'm going to go to the bathroom. One sec. Poopy hands cone you. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. 
Something really funny happened in the bathroom. Really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing. <laughs> I was laughing at this. Kind of, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That's kind of what I. That is, yeah. That's kind of, if I could just get a machine that pets me, that's actually, it's like a nice, even, you know, that's, that, yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, I get it now. Do you understand? Pet, you're not massaging your dog. You're petting your dog. Do we understand this now? Do we under, oh, wait, wait, do people get it now? Do you actually get it now? I, I'm, now I'm madder. I'm not happy anymore. I'm actually pissed off. If I said pet instead of back rub. I am furious. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe this. You don't you didn't know what I was talking about. Petting is uh, a pet is a back rub. Back rub is a pet. It's very gentle with your hand. Okay. Oh my god, dude. I I'm I'm legitimately upset that all of you nobody understood what I meant. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top ten. I give a mean pet. You should relinquish your dog. Product. If you're so giving your dog massages with every pet. Sprinkles, it's important to point out that there weren't hundreds and thousands <laughs> of Surrender your dog. There was only one. For this list. That we'll be looking at mundane objects that have faced bans of various kinds around the world. Okay. We'll be excluding How funny will they be, fashion though? Trends, which deserve a That's list what I want to know. Ever been surprised by a weird ban? What was it? Let us know in the comments. It better be funny. Number 10. Contested Maps. Morocco. If you're visiting Morocco, you may want to carefully consider what maps and guidebooks you show around. Okay. An area known as the Stop. West Don't laugh yet. Manta, don't laugh yet. It's not funny yet. Stop. Stop. Has Stop. been under dispute between Stop. Morocco and an Algerian Wait independence movement known as the Polisario Front. Because Morocco considers the territory part of its country, local maps don't separate the Western Sahara from Morocco itself. Ah, the map, the map, I forgot the map. Relax, oh. I'm the map. It's all up here. Yet many other international maps depict a dotted line. And reportedly, these are sometimes confiscated. Google Maps even this have isn't this funny. Line removed for Moroccan users after three years of lobbying. Maps purchased within the country will also lack this dotted line. Wonder where this river goes. We're back to Simpsons posting. I've got a map. <laughs> cool. Monkey. Number nine, Winnie the Pooh. Poland. I do know this he's one. He's banned in China because some folks think he looked a lot like Chinese president. Yeah, he's Eugene indecent. King. We know oh, this one. Who's there? Nobody. Just a bear. I was wondering since you're What new, was the joke? I don't know either. <laughs> Morocco is a strange place. Some honey. But China isn't the only country that's taken a stance against poor Pooh. The small Polish town of Tushin lashed out at the famous bear for dubious sexuality and being half naked. One official says that the bear is a hermaphrodite and is inappropriate for children, if you can believe that. Referring okay, I didn't know about that part. I thought it was just because he didn't wear pants. To him as a hermaphrodite. Oh my local god! Politicians felt the bear's lack of pants to be highly offensive. Press pause on that. Like Maybe Donald get Duck. Some pants. Fine. Put on some pants. Thanks. The popular children's character was being considered as a mascot for a children's playground when local. That is kind of a small. It is kind of weird how Pooh wears clothes, but nobody else does. Isn't that weird? Oh, wait, Piglet does. Piglet has on a shirt. That is kind of weird, though. No. No, that's kind of that's kind of true. Mm. I think I kind of agree with Poland here. Piglet is annoying as fuck. <laughs> Why do people... I, it's so strange to me. 
when stream will like see a character on the screen and vent their frustrations immediately. Like people will just, nobody's even talking about Piglet. We were talking about his shirt and people just immediately lash out. What's I'm wrong with him? Involved. Upon hearing the news, Rue, we Eeyore, Piglet. and Piglet asked Christopher Robin for help, but to no avail. Oh yes, doing nothing <laughs> often leads to the very best of something. Piglet is a pain in ass. Scrabble, Romania. During his time in office, oh, this is cold. Nicolae Ceausescu ruled at Romania with this a This guy iron sucked fist. at Scrabble. His totalitarian regime was marked by economic mismanagement, mass surveillance, and human rights abuses. One of the many things he cracked down on was Scrabble. Well, maybe we should play Scrabble. Nothing we can do. It's a bad joke, right? Yeah, it is a joke. I mean, I don't... Scrabble? In the 1980s, he argued that the game was overly intellectual and a subversive evil. Anyone Based. for Scrabble? Only God can make words. Debates around Simpsons whether again, a word the is legitimate or not are common when playing the game. But to make it illegal, well, that's something else. Fortunately, Ceausescu was overthrown in the Romanian revolution. So he was dumb? 19... You don't know that. Maybe he beat everybody at Scrabble, but he thought that people would obsess over it too much. And he didn't want people to obsess over it. People are getting too smart, too focused on finite things. Why don't you focus on agriculture and animal husbandry and important Today, stuff, you, you know? Argue over if you're Scrabble trying to build Romania, an empire, you don't want people to get stuck on games. I kind of get it. It's Scrabble, not drugs. The Pooh books. Well, that's how it starts. Pooh doesn't wear a shirt. The shirt was added by Disney and is the only reason they have control over the I character. I think I remember that if too. If I remember correctly. Yeah. I could be wrong though. No, I think that's true. I think in the I think he doesn't wear clothes in the normal and now red shirt Winnie the Pooh is like Disney stuff. Sad because but you're playing it's Scrabble, almost public domain, right? Oh wait, no, it is public domain, Simmon. but only Number the original seven, one. That's what it is. Lace underwear. Russia, Belarus and Ah, Pakistan. too scandalous. Here's one where people really got too sexy. In in the Hachi early 2010s, hubba Russia, hubba. Belarus, and Kazakhstan imposed a new law that made it illegal to sell, import, or purchase underwear Too hot! than 6% cotton. Acceptable fabrics. Cotton or cotton blend. Wool is for outerwear only, and silk is for sex workers or musicians. Right. Since many luxury lingerie garments are made with less than 4% cotton, it effectively banned them from consumer use. Uh -huh. The ban was put in place in an attempt to protect women from synthetic garments that could cause skin irritation and other problems and i forgot my that's underwear. nice of Those them yours? God, I, thought they felt I guess yeah i can't think of an angle here i can't i'm i'm <laughs> i don't i'm like literally i'm uh what's the hmm tight. <laughs> getting out of wear underwear ladies underwear it was met with i can't find an angle there women who protested okay. change in regulations Number six, goldfish bowls. Rome, Italy. For many kids, a goldfish was their very first. Shatters Look and it, at the it glasses one. your feet. This darling little one is my goldfish. <laughs> a small it's dangerous. oval bowl with a bright orange fish in it could be seen on the dresses of countless children. Very dangerous. Unless, of Animal course, cruelty? you grew up in Rome in the 2000s. In 2005, it was deemed that while owning a pet fish is fine, Keeping it in a fish bowl is cruel. Ah, good <laughs> call, good call. What's wrong? Yeah. Fish bowls were therefore made illegal. Mm. Reportedly, this was because of the belief that round fish bowls make fish go blind. Hopefully, the ban didn't result in people getting rid of their pets, but in owners upgrading their domiciles. Ooh. Number five, okay. blue jeans, North Korea. <laughs> so you can have a big ass square one, but you can't have a small one because that's that's indecent. Okay. Yeah, wait, do they go blind? How do you know? I guess it could, right? Because uh, if it's like... this, Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, is it because it's like in a circle? Is it like a... Is it is it because the eyes are the side on their... Yeah, fish vision test? I don't know how you... Okay. It fucks with the head? Okay, well, I... I don't know. North Korea has isolated itself from the rest of the world. Not very funny, and just strange. Resists Western influence. This is America. You want to live in North Korea? That is kind of interesting. How do you, you tell if a fish Korea? is blind? I don't what want would to. you do? 
I want to live in America. Well, you the probably like wave your hand and see if it reacts to stimuli, I guess. I don't restrictions to uphold the status quo. One interesting example is a ban on people wearing blue jeans. I want blue jeans. You're getting slacks. It's not even jeans per se that are illegal, but just specifically blue ones. Black denim might be fine, but blue crosses a line. Why? Blue jeans are seen as a major symbol of American culture ah. and therefore aren't permitted mm. within the borders of North Korea. There my is. license is Slacks in jump somewhere scare. in these pairs of easy fit yep. blue jeans. Eh? Taking eh? over the culture with some That's wranglers and dungarees. Do things. Number four, durian. Public transport Dude, those things are stinky! Ask anyone in the I've never actually had one before or smelled one, but chat told me that when I played Mario durian. Sunshine. The smell of glory. Sounds like feet. And feet. P U. Native to many parts of Southeast Asia, the hard shell exterior is covered in thorns, giving it a similar appearance to that of an oversized What bird. does it taste like? Although quite popular or in the area, like. the pungent stench of the fruit has seen it banned on public transportation in Singapore. It farted. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody's baking brownies. This Although editor is pissing me off. And can still be purchased in this is markets, what they did to make it funny. It now it's funny. It's a definite no no. Stupid. Some hotels have also banned it, as its lingering smell, often compared to raw sewage, the editor is 16. <laughs> Wait, so it smells Wait like raw sewage? It still smells. Number three. I want to smell one so bad. Capri, Italy. I just Go have to know. On a beach in the summer months can I order one? To my house? Durian delivery. <laughs> Do we have them here? Uber Eats a durian? Can I buy durian in the US? Comes from Southeast Asia. You can buy a single fruit shipped anywhere. Okay. Go to an Asian place. All right, sick. Hell yeah. How bad could it be? Sound coming from it's getting meme. I'm gonna try it on I'm stream. Down. I can't run. I'm wearing flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> flip flops Stop. of course get their name from the sound made when they tap against the back of your foot. Right. All too common in most places, the sound became such an annoyance yeah. to residents of Capri, Italy. Just look for a local Asian market. Yeah. There's bound to be one in your area. We have yeah, them in Wisconsin. Stuff around here. That they banned them, along with any noisy footwear entirely. That's take them off. I am afraid I cannot do this. Take them off. You heard her. Take Getting them off. Getting distracted by it's flip flops. It's a curious restriction, but not without merit. For those used to the peace and quiet of their town, an influx of any unwanted sound could certainly. Explaining, be but with flip flops. Number blah, blah, two. Blah, 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 blah. Red <laughs> sprinkles. United Kingdom and EU. Because they look like blood. Have you ever red dye. It's red dye. Right? It's probably red dye, because remember we talked about that. That's come up on the stream. It's red dye, red dye, red dye. It's a red food coloring chemical mm -hmm. used mm -hmm. in the sugar mm -hmm. sprinkles uh -huh. often associated Lock with ice cream. Lock it in? Bugs? It's Bugs? It's also the reason why those very same colorful additions are illegal in the United Kingdom. The American ingredients don't meet UK and rules on food coloring. The guys here didn't know, but someone did and tipped off trading standards. Why? Known as E127, the additive is quite commonly used in North America, but is highly restricted in the UK and EU, forcing local bake shops to use alternatives. Why? Which now uses icing sugar instead. Why is it banned? Sprinkles because they're too pale and the colors run. They claim the chemical has been linked to hyperactivity in children, which is why it's typically only allowed in cocktail and candy cherries. Sorry, ice cream lovers, you'll have to stick to a cherry on top with no sprinkles. What? No bugs? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it was bugs. All right. Uh, <laughs> this can't go on YouTube. They're going to be like, what the fuck is Coney doing? In case you don't know what we're talking about, there's a video like this we saw recently that talked about red dye, and apparently red dye is made from, like, beetle parts or something, bug parts. So I thought that's what they were going to say. But no, uh, red dye just makes you hyper. 
Ah, uh, yes. At least no red ones. Sprinkles never right. hurt a soul. Beetle shells. God, is that what it is? Infinite okay. wisdom. How can you Shell do this? That's what it is. Before yeah. we continue, be sure right, to whatever. subscribe I... to our channel and ring never the mind. bell to get notified. I was about really our excited videos. for that. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. What? Would, how much money would you have to be paid to get notified for every Watch Mojo video? That is a content deluge. You would drown. Your phone would be going off every hour on the hour. $1,000, you can't turn it off. Let's say you have to keep on the bell for the rest of your life. How much would you want money? I, I would literally ask for a, a couple million, I think. Because my phone would be unusable. There's no amount of money in the world. I, I genuinely don't think I would do it. I don't think you could pay me. 250 a video? That's not enough. You make $1,000 a day. That's only 365000 a year. That's not enough. Can I turn off push notifications? No. You have to be alerted for every video. 1000 per video, maybe. That's 4000 a day. I'm saying you can't... What do you mean it's passive income? You can't make normal income. You can't make active income because you can't use your phone. Because your phone is going off four times an hour. It's going off constantly. Yeah! That would be exhausting. I've been subbed to Northern Ian for over six years. <laughs> it's basically the same That's thing. That's kind of true. He does make a lot of movies. That's true. Mute your, mute your phone. If you mute your phone, you're going to miss important calls. Hmm? What if your girlfriend or boyfriend calls you and then you miss it and then they're mad at you? Mm. It's going to take an impact on your personal life. If you're on your phone, make sure you go I'm into your you, settings. I'm telling you, you guys are thinking too small minded. You're going to get in trouble. You can't have two phones. You can only have one phone. Number one, chewing gum, Singapore. I you remember know what? Second one. thought. We've seen a lot of this in other videos. Gum would be perfection. This is a new video. <laughs> Gum would be perfection? Yep, but it is illegal to a lot of this is in repeats. Singapore. Implemented huh. in 1992, there were several reasons why this ban went into effect. I think that's just gum. How do Pretty I know funny. This a treasure map just waiting to be unfurled. Because it's gum. You watched a video that was basically that's identical gum. to this. Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> yeah. Big but this is it new. Has to do with the <laughs> I swear it's new. Mass rapid transit system. I got watch mojo. They got me. Sensors, this video sucks. Yeah. It, it had wasn't also great. A littering nuisance for many residents. But that's okay. I have a backup in case of emergency. All right, we can either do the top 10 most expensive things in the world <laughs> or or I don't know if this one's mosquitoes. Top 23 awkward award show moments of each year. And then we skip through the bad ones. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Will Smith is here. Or, or, I have so many. Or, the top 10 things only wealthy people do and think are normal. I swear I didn't watch this. There are establishments. <laughs> or the top Is ten a loving kiss weirdest a animal kiss. mating Welcome rituals. To watch, we're not watching this one. We're not watching that one. I just wanted you to know it exists. It's on there. Or that's it. <laughs> No more ors. <laughs> Watch the bug porn. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no more, please. Hey, you guys rang the bell. You wanted to ring the bell, right? This is what it's going to be like every day of your life. Every day of your fucking life. Coney, <laughs> you're a Watch Mojo hoarder. I definitely have a lot in here. <laughs> I, I definitely, I click on it. And I'm like, watch later. <laughs> All right, we'll skip the bad ones here. Let's Welcome go. To watch mo award show moments of each year. The most awkward award show moments. Year of the twenty-first. How Homer awkward could they be? In block the twenty. Brit a thousand. Ronnie Wood throws his drink at Brandon Block. The twentieth Brit Awards. I don't at know the who these people are. 
that was subsequently thrown out of the ceremony, leaving the bewildered audience one Bach can <laughs> read man, his name. He definitely just claimed the award for himself. Mic, security attempted to escort him off the stage. When Whoop! <laughs> he got all of it, too. Why did he try to come back? Got splashed, bro. Was subsequently just happened. That's pretty good. 2001. That's not bad. Elizabeth Taylor, are you not entertained? The 58th Golden Globe Awards. Huh? Elizabeth Taylor is the definition of a screen legend, making her more than qualified to present the best. God, look at this quality. God, Jeff only 21 Bridges years gave ago. Taylor the introduction she deserved, building her up as one of the all-time greats. I have the privilege of introducing. I one can't of even see his eyes, dude. Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my God. Jane Elizabeth Taylor. Taylor received oh, a standing ovation. 20p, yeah. And then, well, for somebody who won so many awards during her lifetime, she seemingly forgot how award shows work. Prematurely opening the envelope, Taylor needed Dick Clark to come on stage and remind her to read the nominees first. Spence, what is must this read the nominees first. What's this? Oh, I see. Oh. Taylor proceeded to list off the nominees. How silly, the LOL is 2002 Michael Jackson's Birthday Award, the <laughs> 19th what? MTV Video Music Awards. To commemorate Michael Jackson's 44th birthday, Britney Spears presented Happy him birthday, with a Mikey statue Jackson. at the 2002 VMA. Guys, Michael Jackson cannot show up on this stream without you guys saying that. There was Ooh, some Mikey Jackson. why Jackson was receiving this honor, however. The misunderstanding stems... That's so stupid. From a comment. What is that outfit? Uh, he just wore that shit, man. The princess of pop. That's just what he did. The king of pop, calling him quote the artist of the millennium. He was eccentric. So when Jackson took to the stage, he assumed he was accepting the artist of the oh, millennium. Oh, did you mean Britney? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck she was doing. Board, which does not even exist. She was trouble. This is really amazing. I can't believe it. While nobody corrected Jackson during his humble speech. This Wait a minute. He was accepting, quote the artist of the millennium. So, when Jackson took to the stage, he assumed he was accepting the Artist of the Millennium Award. Oh, yeah. They tried to give him a birthday, and he thought he was the Artist of the Millennium, and nobody told him that it was wrong. I forgot about this. I remember hearing about this. That's very funny. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of true, though. I mean, are you going to tell Michael Jackson he didn't win that award? Which right? does not even exist. This is really amazing. I can't believe it. <laughs> While nobody corrected Jackson during his humble speech, I forgot host about Jimmy that. Fallon poked fun at the incident shortly after. I'd like to uh, set the Artist of the Millennium Award myself. I guess they're giving him backstage. Jack Black Shut up, Jimmy also Fallon. the moment one year later, accepting the Super Genius of the Universe Award. 2003, Young Jimmy, yeah. Michael Moore takes on the president, the 75th Academy Awards. With the Iraq War commencing just days earlier, political tensions were high going into the 2003 Oscars. Jack Nicholson reportedly suggested that the Best Actor nominees boycott the ceremony, while director Hayao Miyazaki, who won Best Animated Feature that year, refused to attend. Uh, Thanks, but uh -huh. I don't need any more. Michael Moore was in attendance, however, and when Bowling for Columbine won Best Documentary Feature, oh, damn. Moore gave got three the politically fingers on charged him. speech his fans might expect. Yet nothing the could prepare the audience for Moore's comments on George W. Bush, describing everything about his presidency as fictitious. The mix of boos and applause only made Moore's speech more uncomfortable. All I said was is that I thought we were being lied to about this thing about weapons of mass destruction. and. Seeing how I made a movie about weapons of destruction uh, it seemed like an appropriate thing to say. Has any president... Oh, my God. That's such a stupid question. Oh, my God. Never mind. I'm not asking it. Or didn't get to finish. <laughs> say it. Has any president ever been as lambasted publicly by Hollywood and the press as much as George W. Bush. And then I stopped after about four words <laughs> because there is someone that is very... Okay, I wasn't going to say it. That's why I wasn't going to fucking say it. And why are you I can't think? Why are you calling me a dumbass? That's what I just... I just stopped myself. Okay? You didn't live through the Bush shit. You don't know how, how crazy it was. Okay? It was... It was... It was different. I stopped, okay? 
On stream, you just say things before you think about them. That's part of the art. That's the medium. I stopped, okay? His speech at the Oscars, but he'd finally share the rest at the you critics- You think Kirby in third world countries? I'll give you my Kirby hypothetical for 2550. 2550 subs, I'll give you the Kirby hypothetical. I remember it. Voice documentary awards almost 15 years later. 2004, Michael Douglas's tribute goes on forever. <laughs> the 61st Golden Globe Awards. Michael Douglas has had a storied career, and you definitely felt its length when he received the Cecil B. DeMille Award. Danny DeVito- Also, I haven't said it on night. Primes? 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 Primes, just look below the stream. It's free. I haven't said it all night. I've been doing this for three hours. Primes, please, just look. Thank you. Sharon Stone spent nearly That's all. 10 That's minutes all. I'm just asking. about I'm Douglas's asking. cinematic contributions. Not trying to fight. Complete with drawn out clips. I've known Michael Douglas uh, longer than some men's wives have been alive. This might be acceptable at the Governor's Awards or the AFI Life Achievement Awards, but the Golden Globes are already lengthy Thanks, enough Bob Asker. with nearly two dozen other statues to hand out. Then, when Douglas's tribute finally wrapped up, it suddenly dawned on the audience that he still needed to give a speech. Thank you so much. Okay, so it was very long. Got with it. Aaron Walker, the 57th <laughs> I forgot about this. Emmy Awards. Capitalizing on American Idol, the 2005 Emmy telecast had some of TV's yeah, this biggest happened. stars sing popular Oh, thank you, Bino, Dino, Bino, Dino, 95. Thank you for the five gifted. They kicked off When you speak of the devil, and there he is. The Idol with Donald Trump, then best <laughs> known for The Apprentice, and Megan Mullally in character as I Karen can't believe Walker. it. The song, the Green Acres theme, with Donald trading his blue suit and red tie for former There's attire. our president, <laughs> former president. Trump Tower. You are my wife. <laughs> my wife. This cringy spectacle. Pretty good. We all thought the same Good thing. Borat. Trump. Eleven years from now, that man is going to be elected president, and Will and Grace will be revived shortly after. <laughs> While Trump never won a <laughs> you are my Emmy, wife. <laughs> he did share in this Emmy Idol win, which even Mullally regrets. We really needed to win that. And we did. And you were a big part of that. And so I just wanted to say thank you. We really needed to win that thing. And I'm thinking, okay, wait. If he needs to win Emmy Idol that bad, what must it be like now? Quite frankly, Kristen Bell should have won for her fame rendition. But Trump is known for beating more qualified candidates. 2006. Melody out. Why is Watch Mojo getting political? Out of Harmony, the 34th American Music Awards. Stop. Other what the than fuck? a chair falling over, <laughs> the, the Pussycat Dolls performance. Stop, Watch Mojo. What are you AMAs doing? Almost went off without a hitch. Why don't you make more top 10 movies, huh? How did this band ever get famous? This group. Then, with less than a minute left, what happened? Melody Thornton stormed Hot? onto the stage. <laughs> if you forgot that this group had a sixth member, you definitely remembered as Thornton started singing off pitch over Nicole Scherzinger. The performance left many feeling confused and probably pressed a few buttons. Huh? <laughs> This homeless woman just rushing the stage with a mic? Where'd she get Hashtag that? Hashtag still with her. Okay. 14 years later, Thornton explained <laughs> that a lost passport caused her to miss rehearsals, landing shortly before the show. Whoa. So if you thought Thornton's grand finale looked unrehearsed, that's because it was. She actually it ran on stage? Feeling like from the airport? Moved, Thornton went solo a few years later and Holy announced shit. that she wasn't taking part in the reunion. 2007, Joe Jonas cuts his hand. The oh. 35th Annual American Music Awards. Oh. Some award show moment. Is that real glass? In the reunion. 2007. Bro, that's not Joe sugar glass? Jonas cuts his hand. Oh, God. And hurt to watch because they're so embarrassing. This one hurts to watch because it involves actual physical pain. Here are three of the hottest tea idols around. Their performance of SOS at the 2007 American Music Awards. Uh -huh. Glass panels shattered right before they Why walked downstairs. Why is it not stage. fake glass? Joe in the middle took a bit of a tumble, falling on the broken glass. Oh! But he didn't let pain get in the way of performing. To reference SOS, you better believe Joe bled. Yeah! According Jeez. to the Australian singer, posting. he didn't even... 30 seconds. Hold on. Realize how bad he was bleeding until he got backstage. 
The Jonas Brothers cool factor... Fake glass can still cut you? Definitely went up in this moment. Come on. Even if the tumble was a little... If you awkward. get cut by fake glass, you're a, a wimp. You're a baby. Beta soy boy. It's not even real. Hey, baby, slow down. Wait for me. Why am I watching this? Oh, wow, it's pretty rocky here, hey. He hey? hey? Slow down on the rocks, baby. It's dangerous to there. Holy shit! Oh my god, baby, the bloody London bot just missed you! Holy bloody mother of god, Jesus fucking my god, baby, come back to London bot nearly hit ya! Oh my god, baby, you- That's not real. This is dumb. It's not real. He's talking very silly. 2008, Katy Perry Falls. That's the not 7th real. annual Premios MTV Latino America. Premios! Falling once is embarrassing, but it's easy enough to recover from. Two or three times is a little more difficult. She'll never but fall twice. Four times? Four times? What? That's what happened to Katy Perry at the Latin America iteration of the VMAs. When her performance of I Kissed a Girl concluded, Perry belly flopped into a huge pink cake and started throwing it into the crowd. Cool. And after playfully tossing some cake on her guitarist, oh no. Harry slipped four times it's on the so icing, slippery. getting up and falling down again and again, Katie, albeit no. grinning the whole way through. <laughs> okay, well that's oh, not really Lord awkward. That's sucked. just silly. Oh no! Video Music Awards. Somehow, this makes Sasha Baron Cohen flying onto Eminem's face feel <laughs> restrained. I forgot about this part. Dude, I don't remember. Was Eminem in on this? I can't remember. I remember people getting, like, thinking he was really mad. He was not. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. <laughs> I hate asking Chet anything. He had to have been in on this. The whole joke here is that Eminem, like, he had this air like he took himself seriously, but he was really, like, funny on camera, and he would, like, do this shit to dick around. I've, I'm sure that they hit him up because there was that other movie where he said he was gay. Uh, the what was it? The the meeting, the fucking the one with James Franco and Seth Rogen. And he like came out in the interview, and it was like supposed to be like you know it's it's funny because people th the dictator is that at the interview? That's what it is. Dictator was the Sasha Baron Cohen one. Yeah, like Eminem had this had this like time like in between being super serious and dropping a lot of slurs and like being the dad rapper now who rhymes orange with banana and it was a very weird time after taylor swift won the vma for best female video kanye west jumped on stage and snatched the microphone out of her hands declaring that beyonce had one of the best videos of all time I, i'm really happy for you i'm let you finish but beyonce had one of the best videos of all time west was booed off stage while swift cried her eye <laughs> dude her face Beyonce's face has always pissed me off because she's always like, oh my god, me? You don't say, it's a, she's very clearly like, she's glad someone said it. Best videos of all time. She's glad West somebody said it. Look at her. While Swift what? No. Hide her eyes out backstage, forcing Beyonce, Come on, Beyonce to do some damage control. The moment immediately sparked countless parodies, memes, and <laughs> discussions. In response to West's <laughs> behavior, U.S. President Barack Obama called him a jackass, while future President Donald Trump called for a Kanye boycott. Stop. Well, there's don't. one thing Obama and Trump could agree on. Skip. Meanwhile, Skip. West also don't get political. nearly repeated himself at the 57th annual Grammy Awards when Beck won Album <laughs> of the Year. Fuck Beck. 2010, Lady Gaga's Meat Dress, the 27th Oh yeah, MTV this one's. We'll, we'll keep Awards. this one kind of quick. She when wore bacon. When a dress is displayed. Played in a museum and even gets a Wikipedia page. That must mean it's I. Yeah, she was like wearing bacon. Yeah. Either a revelation of fashion or a head scratching misfire. I haven't seen Cher in so long. I that thought that was somebody pretending to be Cher. Like no. I feel like Cher is like one of the most like impersonated people without being the real person. That's crazy. Fashion. But that's really her. That's real Cher. And I promised if I won this tonight, I'd announce the name of my new record. It's called Born This Way. Where does this meat dress...
Cool. Wow. Gaga, a lot of people stress right, is yeah. right. Meat dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meat dress. Ricky Gervais mocks the tourist. The 68th Golden Globe Awards. I don't even know what that is. If you hire Ricky Gervais to host your award show, you're going to get some pretty sharp remarks. Welcome to the 68th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles. It's going to be a night of party and Gervais heavy drinking. Pogo, I agree. During his monologue I'm not at the a Gervais Golden head. Globe Awards, the comedian snarked I'm not about a Gervais, the tourist, Jerry. a critically panned thriller starring Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie that somehow received three Golden Globe nominations. I can't believe Despicable he said that on TV! Tron. Seems like everything this year was three-dimensional, except the characters in The Tourist. Gervais not so subtly implied it only received the nominations out of star power and voter bribery. But the only reason the tourist was nominated was so the Hollywood foreign press could hang out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. That is, that is rubbish. That is not the only reason. They Crowd's also accepted left. bribes. His jokes were met with either muted reactions or surprised laughter. There was really no in-between. Tough room at the Golden Globes, apparently. All that happened was some of them were taken to see Cher in concert. Good one, Ricky. 2012, the original Envelope Gate, the 39th and- Will, don't say it. Will? <laughs> Will, if you're in here, don't you fucking say it. Any awards. About five years before another envelope mix-up, do animation's that. biggest night had a similar fiasco. Presenting best. <laughs> I animated... hate this man so much. What the fuck? Why? I love Pat Oswalt. Why do you guys hate Pat Oswalt? Okay, Will's not here. Good. <laughs> Every time I bring up Pat Oswalt, Will drops libel in the chat that Pat Oswalt killed his wife, and I have to tell him that didn't happen. I like Pat Oswalt. Television production preschool. Actress Britney Will Snow announced that. the winner: The Amazing World of Gumball. <laughs> he did not Almost kill his everyone wife. Everyone quickly realized that something was amiss, seeing as how Gumball wasn't even a nominee. He's a smug <laughs> asshole. Okay, I agree. I kind of agree with that. He's kind of an asshole. I didn't like the shit that he said about uh, him and Angry Video Game Nerd got into a fight because uh, Rolf was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna watch Ghostbusters because I don't think I'm gonna like it, so I'm not gonna review it." And Pat Oswalt was like, wow, what a nerd. Listen to the, the way he said he said something about like his video had like he talked like he had a lot of spit in his mouth or something. Just kind of called him a, a dork. It's like, come on, Patton. What? It was a while ago. It was a while ago. And I heard he made. killed his wife. That's not true. You heard that from one guy, Brooklyn Will. Gumball actually won Best Animated Television Production Children, which was supposed to be announced later. Host Patton Oswalt hurried onto the stage, explaining the situation with some well-timed one-liners and embracing the awkwardness of it all. Uh, an envelope was opened early, so before the demons begin to attack, <laughs> we're going to actually have these winners come up. Yeah, we'll have these winners come up. It's okay. Oh. And they're going to they're gonna get their... Annie Award. Before having the Gumball crew come up and accept, Patton cracked a few more jokes at co-presenter Jason Marsden's okay. expense and assured Snow it was all right. It's not like she was presenting Best Picture at the Academy Awards. 2013, okay, so Miguel just... meets an audience member. Okay. The 20th Billboard Music Awards. R&B singer Miguel makes the perfect an music award for got intimate announced moments, early, I guess. but not the kind that happened at the 2013 Billboard Music Awards. I don't know who Miguel is. <laughs> While performing his hit song, Adorn, Miguel leapt over the crowd onto a different part <laughs> oh, of the yeah. stage. However, he fucking it wasn't a smooth landing drop that woman. He oh my god. Into an Die! Oven. Holy shit! I forgot. He hit the Harlem hangover on her. Oh my god! The Hulk Hogan! That might kill you. That actually might kill okay. you. That might sever your spinal cord. Finished a quick little edit to make super cut of the r slash place stream like I oh, did neat. with the Mario 64 app. Hope you enjoy. Oh, neat. Thank you. Yeah, I think we're going to make a video of the place stream uh, soon. I think Vince is working on it. <laughs> Hit her with the Rough Rider. <laughs> it's definitely some Zack Ryder audience shit. audience member's face also hitting her with his leg. <laughs> she appears to brush Zig off the all right, and Miguel keeps on singing. He perfectly demonstrates that as long as you play it cool, it doesn't have to be awkward. But hopefully yeah, he's just he kept practiced going. his onstage acrobatics after oh. this. 
I'm really happy to bring my new friend, Kiati, we just met. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, we met under not the best circumstances. 2014, Adele Dazeem, the 86th Academy Awards. Oh. If you're a Broadway fan, you know Adina Menzel for her work in okay. musicals like Rent and Wicked. For mainstream audiences, it was Menzel's voiceover performance as Elsa in Frozen that made her a household name. Yeah. However, John Travolta still couldn't get her name right at the 2014 Where Academy Where did he Awards. get this idea? Before Menzel performed the Oscar-winning Let It Go, Travolta introduced her as, quote, the wickedly talented, one and only Adele Dazeem. I don't oh, even, way, was it like a teleprompter the, issue? Uh, name to phonetic spelling. I mean, but, but what, what, what do you mean? Go! This flub was so bad, okay. it actually inspired an Adele Dazeem name generator, allowing people to Travoltify their name. Announcing Travolta at okay, but now, of course, second Golden Globe Awards. You're bound to find plenty of cleavage at virtually any award show. The key oh, yeah. is to not point it out, but Golden Globes is a rather suggestive name. So when Jennifer Lopez sported a revealing dress at I the 2015 ceremony, Jeremy Renner could not resist connecting Jeremy? the Jeremy! Golden Globe goes to... You want to open it? You want me to do it? Yeah. I have the nails. Yeah, get after it. You got the globes, too. Um. <laughs> Presenting an award. Jeremy. Together, Lopez mentioned that she had the nails to open the envelope, to which Renner added that she had the globes as well. Igniting la Good joke, but bad delivery. <laughs> laughter and shock. The Jeremy Renner in chat. Look at the way he looks Renner at the camera. Added that she had the globes as well. Igniting laughter and shock. Get that fucking look. He knew what he did. The comment arguably overshadowed Billy Bob Thornton's win. During his speech, Thornton mentioned that you can get into a lot of trouble, quote, no matter what you say. It's a reminder Renner probably wishes he'd heard sooner. Globe Award. And it torpedoed his career. He was never in another movie. Several years after the meat dress, Lady Gaga stunned in Versace at the Golden Globes. Thank you. Um. While it wasn't her most eccentric outfit, she got a golden globe for American Horror Story? That show blows! What the fuck? Shut up. Don't make fun of the way I said glory. Okay. <laughs> you guys are so stupid. <laughs> guys, stop. Stop. Okay. God. I can't believe she did. Okay, fine then. I'm going to retake it. In case this gets on YouTube. She got a Golden Globe for American Horror Story? <laughs> that show sucks! That inspired at least one head-turning look, courtesy of Leonardo DiCaprio. As Gaga slid behind him on her way to the stage, DiCaprio's laughter turned <laughs> to surprise what was with that? a cringy expression. The moment went by so quickly that the kind of look was that? missed it at first. Hits the if Omega the lull, and then he says... For one thing, though, it's turning a brief <laughs> Leonardo oh. DiCaprio gesture oh. into a viral <laughs> moment. Although some assumed that's he pretty was good. throwing shade... See how okay, the that's pretty funny. 17, wrong Best Picture winner announced. Okay, yeah, I remember this Academy happening. Academy Awards. Something was clearly amiss at the 2017 Oscars when Warren Beatty hesitated to announce the Best Picture winner. A landmark. Okay, this was Hart this is when the, the wrong movie Academy got announced. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Even more surreal. That's pretty uh -oh. funny. Tommy was O, the 75th. Huh? Golden Globe Awards. Tommy Wiseau supposedly kept the room running for two extra weeks to qualify for Academy Award consideration. I actually don't know this Needless one. To say, his cult classic received no love from the Oscars. About a wait, 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 wait. He didn't get to talk at all? Oh, that's fucked up. I thought he was going to do it and then talk a little bit and then give it to him. No, that's fucked up. To come up on stage. Dude. Hollywood bullshit. Yeah, I mean, like, what the fuck? What do you think he's going to say? He might say something embarrassing, but, like, that's the character that you played and you made money from. Dude. Poor Tommy, man. The first three seasons of American Horror Story Slap. No. I've seen, I've seen pretty much all the seasons because my wife and I watch it as shitty background show. It's not good. It's fun to watch. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. The first season's decent. I liked the Asylum and the Circus ones. 
but hey, I really like the Roanoke season. I like everybody else hated it. I thought the Roanoke season was dope, but I like backwoods cannibal cult towns. I'm into those. But no, I didn't like the other ones. Mal and I stopped watching Hotel halfway through because I was like, this is too much info. It's like it's like a hotel and addiction and vampires and blah, blah, blah. No, the fucking... Which one was the one with the aliens? Asylum sucked because there were aliens at the end. What the fuck? Out of nowhere? That was awful. As Wiseau tried grabbing Stupid. the microphone... Franco playfully pushed him aside. Was Roanoke he probably to camp wanted yeah. to avoid an awkward moment, but silencing Wizo was able to Poor love Poor Tommy, him. bro. That's fucked up. 2019. Emma Stone apologizes. The 76th Golden Globe Award. Crazy Rich For Asians. what? However, that doesn't undo the mistakes oh, that yeah. the industry was still making only a few years earlier. So your family is... I like forgot! <laughs> We're comfortable. <laughs> That is exactly what a super rich person would say. Co-hosting the Golden Globes, Sandra O oh confronted the problematic casting of Ghost in the Shell, which enlisted Scarlett Johansson over an Asian lead, uh. and Aloha, which starred Emma Stone as a captain who's supposed to be part Chinese and Hawaiian. Oh, Captain Ring. It's I... Ing. Oh. It's like Ring, but without the R or the I. Wait, she played... Okay. Just Ing. Stone was in <laughs> attendance that night, having been nominated for the favorite. Although the camera didn't cut to her, Stone could be heard shouting, I'm sorry, in the distance. It is the first studio film with an Asian American lead since Ghost in the Shell and Aloha. <laughs> the joke <laughs> itself is biting, but having Stone present elevated the moment to I, that's kind of funny. Of hilarious awkwardness. That's kind of funny. I'm more mad at Sandra O oh for making that joke, but you know, it's fine. It was good. It was a good, it was, it was pretty good. Everybody came out. That was, okay, that's good. Ricky yeah. Gervais doesn't care. The 77th Not this guy. Golden Globe Awards. After a four year absence, Ricky Gervais returned to host the Golden Globes for what he claimed would be his <laughs> last time. What's he gonna say, bat chest? He's gonna get in tr tr trouble. I'm as such, Gervais didn't care who he offended. Not that he ever cared that much to begin He's with. He's one of us! You're, you'll be He's so sardonic. This is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so I don't care anymore. Freaky, um, you can't I'm say joking. that. I never did. Gervais oh, he doesn't even at... care. Oh, you can't say that, Ricky. I can't. I can't. Joe I can't Martin believe he would say that. Height could be oh, seen as nice you're supposed to care about the movie Cats. Gervais took no prisoners, and we're not just talking about Felicity Huffman. He's so Jesse aloof. Epstein and Harvey Weinstein. Remember, they're just jokes. We're all gonna die soon, and there's no sequel. So, it's like a shitty George Carlin. I don't know. I just can't. Yeah, remember that. Happy <laughs> Polar. Hmm. Funny. He called out all of Hollywood British for the humor. lack of diversity, media giants taking over everything, and hypocritical celebrities using their acceptance speeches to push political agendas. Gervais received plenty it's of- ju It's just like if your dad was somehow a famous comedian. Like, my stepdad was like this. And he never had anything, like, funny or interesting to say. It was just like, wow, people suck. Look at all these people who suck. It's like, yeah, man, like this- <laughs> Yeah. Awkward looks. Although Tom Hanks easily gave us the most meme-worthy reactions. 2021. Ending with Best Actor was a big mistake. The 93rd Academy Awards. After mm -hmm. Anthony Hopkins won Best Actor at the BAFTAs, it appeared the late Chadwick Boseman might not be the Oscar frontrunner. What I care about bad luck? You talking simple. I ain't had nothing but bad luck all my Watch life. Watch Mojo loves no memes. The hell they I really do. Some bad they luck. truly do. Hell, I eat it every day for breakfast. At this point, the Oscar producers should have reconsidered saving Best Actor for last. They stayed the course, however, oh. hoping to end with a heartfelt speech from Bozeman's widow, Taylor Simone Ledward. Well, an absent Hopkins one. And that's it. So that was it. That's how the show ended. Oh. Of course, Twitter exploded with how Chadwick was robbed. Whoever you. Oh. Oh, that's kind of fucked up. I think gave the better performance. Abruptly ending on this note was uncomfortable for everybody. Oh, especially dude, that's Bozeman's bad. family and Hopkins, who subsequently recorded a speech. And at 83 years of age, I did not expect 
to get this award. I really oh, didn't. Oh, dude. And, um, That's very wild. To the Academy and thank you. It'd be one thing if the Academy acknowledged. Yeah, do they not know who wins? I guess that would be giving it away, right? If they did, but I guess not because it was Hopkins. So that this was a misfire. Instead, they should know who won, right? Co-producer Steven like, Soderbergh doubled not down, the organizers? saying, "Quote: okay, yeah. If Bozeman were to win and his widow were to speak on his behalf, there would be nowhere to go after that." Before we continue, oh, be sure to subscribe dude. to our channel and ring the bell to get okay, notified. Okay, and then this is the the fourth Academy Award in twenty. Bro, this walk away. Okay, listen, we're not going to talk about this. People have talked about it endlessly. It's staged. We all know it's staged. We can stop talking about it. This is clearly a publicity stunt. The pursuit of slapping. Finally, the leave it alone. Academy Awards. Look at that walk. It was the oh. slap heard around the world. Did you guys see the alternate camera angle with Jada? There's an alternate camera angle where it's like behind Jada. And uh, you see her like. Chris says something. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. There's a bunch of angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's directly behind them. Hold on. Uh, I don't know how to search for it here. Aha. I literally found it. Okay. Hold on. This shit's crazy. Is this the right article? Huh? Overnight, Chris Rock sticking to jokes and video over Stop. how the statement, statement if ters. Ask Chris Rock about I'm trying to find the begun. The the angle. Aha! This yeah, okay. I, I had to find it on today. I'm sure there's another one new TikTok video revealing another view of Jada Pinkett Smith reacting to the incident. So he says, Will Smith just smacked the fuck out of me. And she's like, ha, 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 ha. and she doesn't even look at him. She doesn't even look at her husband or do anything to try to help him or comfort him or anything. She keeps her eyes locked on the guy. And a separate TikTok video showing the moments after the incident as the broadcast moved on. Rock reacting. Rock has not addressed the... Com okay, this... this Dude, I would feel so bad for Chris Rock. Somebody just came up and slapped you and nobody came to help you. Fuck, man. That's so fucked up. Nobody did anything. And apparently they went to him. He isn't going to die. No, but I like the, the fact that he best was able to, to be the, slap. the fact that they just did that on stage and nobody did anything or and then they asked him later, like, are you OK if he stays like it's kind of fucked up, right? I don't know. People have talked about it at length. Obviously, Chris is fine. So who cares? But, you know, and it's it's celebrities. So whatever. Millionaires and millionaires. Uh oh. Is this the uh Dude, what's wrong with my YouTube? Uh oh. Richard <laughs> How did they do that? Uh oh. <laughs> this is magical. How did he <laughs> How did you Gary's mod reality? That's amazing. 3D tracking? Can you do that? Oh, a little bit of movie magic. This one's real? <laughs> That's the real one. Okay. That's pretty good. Chris Rock's body just does that? <laughs> Nobody's ever slapped him before. Nobody's ever tried. Except this. All right. Pretty good movie. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know if that'll make it into the, to the montage. We'll see. We'll see. It's crazy he had a comedy show a day or two later. Yeah, what's the first joke you make as you come out on stage? Right? Like, after something like that, you gotta have some heat. You might be able to, you might be able to just get on stage and just make jokes about Will Smith for 60 minutes and everybody would be okay with it. <laughs> Is this a Kingdom Hearts edit?
G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. <laughs> what is going on with my YouTube? G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. It's Jawa's Eye, that was a nice one. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. <laughs> pretty good it's not bad somebody made a point that i saw somewhere where the fact that he said come on jada that was a nice one is supposed to imply that he could have said something way worse about you know will <laughs> or jada like because he is like he's like that was a nice one i could have said something really fucked up and when you think of it that way i could understand why will is kind of mad right that's like uh what were you going to say, big guy? You know, I don't know. I said I wouldn't talk about it, and yet here we are. Did you see the Amy Schumer joke? Yeah, I did. Hold on. So. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So Amy Schumer made a, uh, a joke... Hold on. Yeah, it was it was like the new movie Don't Look Up or because the producers did not look up the reviews. It was something like that. And apparently that was cobbled together because her original joke did not get uh approved, which was uh, don't look up is the name of a movie. More like don't look down the barrel of Alec Baldwin's shotgun. Now, that is a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much. It doesn't even make sense. No, it's a little bit too much and it's too soon. Like, it's not great. It's not great. Listen, I'm all for this kind of humor, but like there's a time and a place and this is a little bit too much. It's, uh, it wasn't a shotgun. The choke didn't function. I just were like, I worry for Amy Schumer, man. I don't like what's, I don't know. I saw people get mad at her for the Kirsten Dunst thing too. And it feels like people want to hate her. Because the Curse of Dunst thing was so, uh, it was so obviously staged. And, like, they were okay with it. But I was like, how dare you, you insult the Queen Dunst, like, that kind of thing. People just want to hate her. But she's giving them ammo. <laughs> this is a lot of ammo for people to hate her. I get it, you know? It's fun to hate her. <laughs> I feel bad for her. I really do. I think it's, this is a little, you know, she's not funny. I, I'm a, I'm an Amy Schumer sympathizer because everybody thought she was so funny talking about her vagina and how it smells and how she sleeps with so many guys and she's so drunk and everybody's talking about that. And then somebody is like a switch turn and then everybody's like, oh, I actually hate her. That was always her thing. And then people just decided they were sick of that. And I get it. Times change. And maybe she didn't change. Nobody liked that. Cope. That is copium. People loved that. It was, it was, it was popular, dude. You can't just look back. Dane Cook was never funny. Oh, my God. Nobody ever liked Dane Cook. That's not true. Coney rewriting history. No, that's literally what you're doing. You can't. Jeff Dunham was the biggest comic on the fucking planet. Oh, ventriloquism, hack act. He's terrible. It doesn't matter. The guy made millions. Dane Cook was pretty funny, to be honest. It, it, well, that's the thing. He was funny, but when you look back, it's like, oh, this was never funny. History just caught up. No, it was funny at a time, and everybody loved it. Jeff Dunham literally just sits there being racist, but at the time, that's... People wanted that. That's what you got to understand. People wanted that. People loved that. Speaking of stand-up, did you guys see the Jeff Foxworthy joke? <laughs> did you guys see the, the joke that was getting around? 
Huh? Pretty funny. Pretty funny, Jeff. Hold on. Hold on. I can't believe they tweeted this. I think it was on Netflix as a joke. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. No, it's pretty funny. What the fuck is this? I thought this was it. Announcing a lot of people here. It's the festival. Okay. How much do they tweet? What the fuck? They are tweeting. How many jokes could there be? What fucking day is it? I'm just looking for his mustache. Oh, there he was. Wait. It was in text. By the way, this guy kills too. Gabriel Iglesias. That guy kills too. He goes crazy. I don't think he's... He's not my style of humor. I don't want to say I don't think he's funny. I, he's not my style of humor, but... You know, people love him. Alright, this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this ratio. I played every sport. And it was weird back then. If you wanted a trophy, you had to finish first place. <laughs> Boom! Mike dropped on these fucking millennials. Ooh, a hot new one from my boy Jeffy H. The old Jeffster dropping it on them. They don't want to hear that one, Jeff. They're not ready for that one. Ooh, a little bit too hot on that one. Jeff, too soft on that. I just can't believe this is still... Because, like, this, listen. Wait, H? Why did I say H? Jeff H? <laughs> what happened? I have dementia. <laughs> Jeff Hawksworthy. <laughs> why did I say H? F is right next to H. Cut. Dude, I just don't understand. Like, this is like a joke you would take on the road with you, but not to your special. Right? Like, I feel like you could make this joke on the road, because give people what they want, just simple stuff. It's fine. But in a special? The special's literally called the good old days. I don't know about that. Actually, no, you're right. I, I'm a uh, sleepy Coney. No, I have dementia. I'm old. This joke hits with me. This is amazing. It is like that. You damn entitled kids. I just don't get it. It's so weird to me. It feels so old. And it feels like Jeff is like hip, right? I wonder what generation of people gave millennials their participation trophies. Yeah, I saw a lot of that too. It just, I felt like Jeff was, like, kind of hip to it, you know? But this is so... I mean, like, this comedy kills, right? This is boomer bait. They love it. And there's nothing wrong with doing it. But, like, on a special Jeff? Jeffrey. Why would you think Jeff was hip? I think Jeff's a smart guy. You don't become as successful as Jeff without knowing that something is, like, hack shit. Right? I feel like he he would know that this joke is kind of hacky, but maybe not. I don't know. Jeff's Twitter bio is killing me. <laughs> Fox Outdoors. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, I think I learned a little bit about Jeff tonight. That's a lot of pandering, yeah. Uh, maybe he's just like that, man, you know? Some people are just like that. Turbo Boomer, yeah. I just can't believe it's Fox Outdoors. <laughs> Read the replies, comments. Oh, people hate him. Damn, a lot of people here only ever got participation trophies. Like, here's the thing. It's a shitty joke, but, like, why tweet about it? Why get outraged? Who cares, right? Old people need jokes too. I, I I don't know. If you don't think Jeff Foxworthy is the goat, then you might be an... Oh, dude, this is supreme bait. 
Pauly Walnuts has some terrific bait. Oh, that's good. That's good. Only one quote tweet, though. Oh, from himself. It didn't work. <laughs> it's good bait. It just it didn't hit the, the algo. Didn't hit the algo. No one bit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Got one. Oh, no, but he killed it. He killed the joke himself. Made a video on this. This concept is unique to the U.S. What? Okay. All right, I'm going to stop now. I just, I, I don't know. This was wild. All right, let's check on how the poll's doing. Hold on. Well? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Clearly. Check comments. Will being stupid. Vince trying to be my dad. Huh? I'll tweet what I want. Captain Piddles. People who are saying no have never... That's not even what I'm saying, Captain Piddle. What are you talking about? <laughs> you can massage any part of the body. No. That's not what I'm going for. Massage can be anywhere. Not what I'm saying. Rectangle versus square. No. Back rubs are lighter and more calming. See? Mr. Wick knows. All back rubs are massages, but not all massages are back rubs. <laughs> We're doing this again. No, the other way around. It's the other way around. <laughs> no, it's the other way around. It's the other way. <laughs> it's the other way around. No. 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 All massages are back rubs because you are technically rubbing the back. You are technically rubbing the back when you do a massage. But a back rub is particular because it's delicate. It's a pet. Every back rub is a massage. <laughs> this is so stupid. How are you guys getting this backwards? How are you guys getting this backwards? This is your worst bit. I'm literally not kidding. All right. Last thing for tonight. Finish the quick little edit to Hold me. Hold on. Well, last thing for tonight. So I had an idea. <laughs> A while ago. <laughs> I had an idea a while ago. <laughs> this is so stupid. I don't think I'm doing this. I had an idea a while ago to make a website when tournaments came back. And the idea is there's a set. It's a flash game. Kind of like flash dress up games. And there are 10 shirts and 10 pants and 10 hats. And it would update. And chat could pick my outfit for the tournament that I went to next. So like for Genesis, I'll wear what chat picks on Friday. <laughs> I thought that'd be very funny. Uh, is this a dollhouse bit? No, I had this idea like literally two years ago. I swear. I had this idea two years ago. I promise. I have it in text. I have the receipts. See, Vince is right there. We were going to make a website, but I was like, this is such a stupid bit. But I was like, eh, it might be kind of funny. Because it, it directs traffic to the stream. Because if I'm on stream in a weird outfit, I'm like, ah, chat picked it. Uh, and then people might show, you know. I had this idea two years ago or something. But I don't know how to do it. It's a good bit. Well, it takes a lot of work. But maybe we'll do it tomorrow on Amazon. <laughs> I don't know I don't know how to go about this but you know maybe we'll figure it out. We'll talk tomorrow. It's already 12. I was going to look at it tonight but it's kind of late. Maybe we find an outfit on Amazon. <laughs> maybe that's what we'll do. And I'll wear it on Friday. <laughs> I'll just wear a big hoodie over it so nobody sees it. Maybe Maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday. I'm just putting it in your head. Start looking for outfits. Maybe we'll look at them tomorrow or uh, or Thursday. <laughs> I'm just putting the idea in your head. Tomorrow, 
Larry Lurdrip. Hey, if you want. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to do Fat Your Opinion, plus a new thing that I want to do that I think will be fun. And then maybe a third thing. Maybe. Depends on if I can get it together. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, hey, hey, I didn't say if you got primes, huh? We're so close to 2539. It is our goal, and we've had it forever, and I would love, love to hit that. That would mean so much to me if we get a hit 29, 2539. That would mean a lot. Or if we could hit 2900, that would be great. Please. Is that all 12 bits you wanted to do on stream already? Let me check. Hold on. Wait. Place, Hurdle, Kurt Angle, Gex Jr., Rotten Tomatoes Guy, Chaotic Nightclub, Courage, Blindfold Speedrun. I didn't do that one. That one's kind of long, but I kind of wanted to watch that video. King Arthur, Fears to Fathom. That's a game that I wanted to play uh, and watch Mojo. So, yeah, I hit most of them. Pretty good. Bino Dino with another five. Thank you. Oh, my God. Smash Kid, thank you for the gift. Thank you, Wildy. Thank you, Bubble Zera. Thank you, N7 Igni 93. I think I got that. Thank you, Girolo, for the prime. Thank you, guys. Thank you. The Courage game was apparently only half done. I'm not doing that maze shit. The back rub bit wasn't on the list. That, that was your fault. You did the back rub bit. You forced that on the stream. I didn't want to do it. Stupid. What is this? Trihex is doing a panel? About the Will Smith slap? Black people talk about Will Smith slap. Maybe new developments? New developments? <laughs> new developments? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I get. All right. Well. Content Warlord. That, you know what? You guys could go there. They're, they're going to find a second slap. Analyze. <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let us go. Raid. Hmm. 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 My mouth is getting so wet. Ugh. I shouldn't do that. It wasn't supposed to go that long. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> what are you doing? Shut up. Go raid. Uh, we'll just raid. I did critical recently. No, we'll raid Trihex. We're going to raid Trihex. Because he's got an important panel discussion going on right now. There you go. You guys go raid Trihex. Perfect. Find out what happened in the slap. Report back tomorrow and we'll see. <laughs> Let me know how it went. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, for content night. Goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.